<laughs> Craig, is he real? Is he not? I mean, no we one else don't can... know. The people listening in can't hear him. I honestly thought they could. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> it record Craig. It just records us. That's why, mm. you have to YouTube why would it record the recording bot? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, what is up, everyone? Welcome to another <laughs> monster of the week. Every oh other God. week. Hey, gamers! My show has been hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, what Kyle has. said. What's up, losers? Welcome to another episode of Let's Be Badasses and Kill Monsters. We haven't done that yet. yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> In this session, you're going to see more of Casmer being an idiot. Kanichi, what's up, bitches? <laughs> hey, Ganade actually might actually do something. <laughs> anyway, all at the house, the day after little baby Joseph <laughs> popped up. He's, he's 10. <laughs> yeah, little baby. <laughs> yes, baby. he's at perfect punting age. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, God, don't, terrible. don't do not give me uh, ideas. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> anyway, no, I will slap the crap out of you, Casimir. No, Ganade has returned from the gym. <laughs> yeah. Getting those sick gains uh, on their androgynous body. <laughs> hilariously, uh, it gives me no experience. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get extra tough, F. All right. I'm like, okay. I'm probably like behind like two or three levels now. Starting off, I should probably, probably do my before sessions. Yes, stuff. you probably should do your before session rolls. Yeah, basically, <clears throat> that's an everyone except for uh, Casimir, who has been in a fugue state for the past three days. Mm -hmm. Olaf and Ganade has now found out about the fact that a third finger has a uh, the third finger has appeared in New Orleans, Louisiana. Sefi so still hasn't put two and two together with Joseph and Arlo, right? Jonathan and Joe. No, not yet. <laughs> exactly. God damn it. <laughs> Jonathan and Arlo. Sefi still can't put two and two together, though, right? Mm -hmm. I was the only one that was able to figure it out. Can I do mm -hmm. another sharp roll, non EXP, real quick? Sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Ezrakul figured it out pretty quick, too, but. Ezrakul well, did. Not... <laughs> Ezrakul's an NPC. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ezra Cole's opinion know. doesn't matter. Yeah. Does Olaf Ezra. know? Olaf wasn't there. Okay. Zephy still can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh -huh. basically, everyone except for those three, I'm guessing that you guys started preparing to go down to New Orleans. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, I said everyone but those three. If oh. anyone wants yeah. to try to break Casimir out of the fugue state, Zephy's going to shove more, you know. <laughs> Hash browns into his mouth. Jonathan's gonna be watching, just like <laughs> doing. <laughs> so what's uh, happening? I'm trying to use food to wake him up. I mean, you could just do this, and Jonathan goes up and just starts poking Casimir in the face over and over again. Zephy <laughs> comes in tow and does the same. <laughs> hey, what are you two doing? Ah, yes, it, it seems your plan has worked, child. Good job. Thank Who you. The, where the hell did this child come from? What, what the hell is going on? I'm from New Orleans. Hey, watch your cursing. <laughs> from New... Your what? You're red. He's purple, purple. actually. I'm colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one here. I'm gonna kill him. Somebody's Please don't. What? Who the hell is this? Kid. Who the hell is this little boy? I'm Jonathan. What's your name? I am Casimir. J J Jonathan, get a uh, get the hell away from there. Also, I think I'm just gonna say right now that Ganade took Olaf to the gym with them. Probably. <laughs> Our, Ol Olaf does like working out. Ooh. Oh my bad. Hold on, let me do this. Uh, uh, I'm trying to do it in the accent thing. Oh. Nah, oh. 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 oh, yeah, I sure like working out, mate. Oh. Oh. Why did you say mate? Wait, you are sure you now? Howdy there, partner. In the background, <laughs> Ezrakul has already started self-medicating for the day. Yeah. 
<laughs> Arlo has kind of ushered Jonathan away from Casimir because he doesn't he doesn't want Jonathan to get killed by the giant eldritch god. <laughs> uh. Arlo. Who the hell is this kid? And why are there more of y'all here now? Uh, this is his house. Uh, first of all, none of your fucking business. Maybe if you actually paid attention to something other than the TV, you would learn something. Goodness. Hey, our, Elmo has been very educational and helpful. Yeah, I've learned a lot of new moves. Moves? I, the, the TV's been off for the past couple days. You've just been staring at nothing. I'm really it concerned is. on what moves this idiot learns from a hand puppet. You <laughs> <laughs> don't need to know. Oh, jeez. You don't need to know. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> need just to know. say, I found a new way to control people. Hmm. Don't get near is me. Is Cassie just going to break the fourth wall now? <laughs> just stick don't my hand up, people. <laughs> booze. Don't even need more booze. Uh, anyway, I, I I just refilled the whiskey cabinet. Don't drain it all in one day, please. <sighs> tell me what to do. <laughs> You're in my house. I can tell you what to do if it suits me. What the heck is grenade in the freaking Viking guy? <laughs> oh, I thought they went to the gym. <laughs> my headphones slip. What I miss. The pirate went to the gym with... Okay. The pirate? He's a pirate? <laughs> you keep changing your character. Make up your mind, dude. What are you talking about? That's just Casimir, you know. Oh. Oh, you oh that were... was Casimir? Yeah, yeah, that was Casimir. Oh, Am I you got that? <laughs> okay, I thought I, you were I thought those were old things. What is the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't remind me I have a fucking time-traveling foreigner in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Foreigner. <laughs> I mean, going by that logic, you have several due to the fact that you have someone from heaven, hell, and outer space. Yeah, but those are those are different things. They ain't human. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He, mm. So Arlo doesn't like foreigners. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> now he really is starting to sound like it's like a conspiracy theorist. Arlo doesn't like many people. <laughs> well, trying to distract but somehow him. he likes working with the government agent. Casimir is gonna stand up and like stretch and be like, "Oh, god dang, I'm sore." Yeah, you've been sitting still for the longest time. Turns out one of your siblings is ravaging Louisiana now, so that's a thing. Oh my, are we going to be? Are we going to set out to deal with them soon? Oh, I could go no, for a good killing right now. Destroy. The whole world. Of course we're gonna do something about it. Well, that's fine if he does that, as long as I get to kill him. I I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that from you, because I'm about to raise slap you. At this point, Jonathan kind of tugs on Arlo's shirt. Sibling? Uh, I'll catch you up in the car. Oh, boy. It's a long story. All right, well, wait. Well, so the I little kid's well, coming with us? That. I'm going to go get Jacob and see if I can do anything about finding those Latin chanters we need to unsummon these assholes. I was doing a little bit of research. I found some locals in the area who deal in magic. That might be a good place to start, or do you have your own contacts? Local I mean, contact you. you'd be surprised how many priests and are kind of indebted to hell right now. Yeah. Probably strong arm a good number of them. Oh, in that case, I got a business card for the Catholic Church. Give me a sec. Not me. Ar Arlo goes and rummages around in his uh, office for a second and hands If it's uh, the that. ones you're thinking, they're getting tortured regardless. Well, I mean, if they know magic, they can help at least, so I don't... <laughs> it's like, I don't care. I don't give a shit if they're getting tortured. It's not my job to worry about them. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> And so he just hands her a business card, like giving the address of the local Catholic church uh, in the town. All right. Real shame that I can't pu pull any of the dead people from hell out to here. Otherwise, I'd just take all the ones that were selling the fake purgatory notes way back during the medieval era. Cool. Put them to some good use, finally. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess it's not an option at the moment. I'm, 
uh, or um, yep, you're you're here, so you would have already done so if you were able to do something. Like that. Yeah. <sighs> well, good luck. Arlo kind of salutes, goes and uh, starts he- uh, heading out. Um, oh, I didn't uh-huh. park my car from my front yard, did I? <laughs> it might still be upside down. No, wait, no, no, no. Mine. That was maybe I borrowed it. Wait, so it's my car or your car we're taking? I think we're going to have to take both, honestly. Uh, Our party has sizes increased. So much. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Jacob, you depressed son of a bitch, get out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how we should split this up. Um, we can finally split it up where the angel doesn't sit right next to the demon. That is a. I'm not going with you guys. We're not well, talking we're about not... you, Mr. Cole. You said demon. Only one here. Yeah. Um, hello. I don't Can care. I I'm gonna go to a demon if I want to. <laughs> yes, Shut of up. course you're a demon, Casimir. Uh, Miss Knight, would you mind taking Casimir in your car? I don't trust him around Jonathan. <laughs> Bring your information, Arlo. Yes. I am amazing with kids. No. <laughs> Y'all haven't seen me around any now, have you? You literally threatened to kill there, me. There's a reason. You ate several, several children when you were in hell. Don't worry, Joseph. I'll keep you away from you the see, big, little scary, boy. purple man. The reason I said I was going to kill you was because you ticked me off. Hmm. Yeah, you're not supposed to threat kids. Yeah, yeah, okay. Rule what the better? He, look look at him. He's not a normal human. It's fine. Arlo lights up a cigarette at this point in time. You know what? I'm just going to get in the truck. Jonathan, come if you're coming. Zephy, you can ride ride if you want. I call shotgun. Very Run. well. I shall just come with you. Casimir, are is... coming? Yeah, but yeah. But I am not sure that you should be giving the child the um shotgun. Shotgun Wait, means... Wait, you're giving the child a shotgun? And y'all are saying, I'm going to kill him. Look at that. He has a freaking gun now. No, my shotgun's it's going just... on my gun rack as it normally does. He just said he calls. He just said he wants a shotgun. He's sitting up front. He's not. It's a metaphor, assholes. (laughs) I see. I still don't know much about those. My apologies. (laughs) I'm not making any sense. Whatever. I'm gonna run inside, grab my guns, and then come put them in the trunk and get in the car. Are you coming or not? So Arlo's house is the one place you don't carry your guns around. (laughs) It's the one place I can store them. And then I. <laughs> what, you store your guns in my house? <laughs> well, my bunker's under there, so duh. Oh, all right, well, that's different. <sighs> it's part of your house. So. Yeah, fair enough. Damn it. <sighs> Definitely. Probably lucky that you can't suffer part failure, really. Uh, I wish I wasn't driving right now. I was, I was drinking. Can I drive? No. May I drive? Do you know how to drive, Zephy? <laughs> I am sure it is simple enough. Do not worry. Out no. of character, where the <laughs> fuck is Grenade right now? <laughs> With That's Olaf awesome. somewhere. <laughs> you guys came back to the house! We did? You came back to the house from the gym. Ah, uh, okay. I thought they were still at the gym, my bad. So I'm gonna be stuck with Grenade, the one that tried to tickle me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure Grenade's gonna go with her with his brother. You know what that is? You know. You're gonna be You're stuck, stuck with Casper and Olaf. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always stuck with a demon. Hey, you took him. I'm not in the day. car with you. <laughs> not I talking about Kas- you. <laughs> I just call Casper a demon because it's easier. That's because I am one. <laughs> of course. Yes, and my s- left mm-hmm. foot is the Queen of England. <laughs> let, let, you know, just... I hear you're doing a very bad job, then England's like, not doing well this time of year. As fun as this banter is, it's not like the world is in there or anything, so we, sh- we could take our time, you know, a little more. Arlo walks out the front door. <laughs> I mean, if you want us to take uh, more time, I guess we can. Get in the fucking car! <laughs> oh, lucky you don't need it to was breathe, sarcasm. because I'm sure you'd forget. Oh, you don't Dang, I, I, I forget my voice. No. Scotland. I know. I'm trying to remember how, like. Shrek. 
to do it. <laughs> it's like, Oi, yeah. don't get it. Don't get it. Oi, don't oh, you better fool me, lass. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oi, don't you forget about me now. <laughs> Great, the pirate's coming. Well, so you want to ride in the car, you idiot. Get in. <laughs> Olaf, you, you want to ride in the truck? You want to ride with, because uh, Zephy's coming along. You seem to have attached yourself to, to them, so. Of, co- oh, of course, I'm going to go with my divine Vakaide. Oh, shit. So I'm okay. just stuck in a car with Casimir, basically. Sounds hey, like yeah. you lucky. Hello, uh, J- you Jonathan. Seem like Jonathan. the squishiest one here. You want to just come just with us to find some chanters? Hey, so, sounds pretty fun. Huh? All right, what's up? Wait, you coming with us, or you going with the pirate? I mean, oh. I just asked him if he wants to come with us to find some Latin chanters. So. Well, no one cares about you. I don't even know why you're still here. Hmm. Zephy is currently with Joseph, trying to make sure he's spoken into it's, the car properly. It's Jonathan. Joey Jonathan. <laughs> well, either way, Zephy is trying to make sure that Jay is properly buckled in the front seat. Well, Olaf is going to sit in the uh, trunk of uh, trunk of the truck, like the. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Wait. Wait. The metal box? There's like a metal box in the back of his truck. You're hiding. Well, no. I'm assuming I like the, I thought they. Oh wait. Hold on. Not Casimir. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm assuming the truck is like you know it has a bed right in the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's just gonna sit there. Grenade. Where did you say you were gonna ride? Olaf doesn't like. Uh, I thought the he was demon. going with the demon. I thought the he was riding demon. with y'all. No, he's going with uh, Ezra Cole, or whatever his name is. Okay. Yeah, Ezra Cole was asking if he, uh, if they wanted to come with her and Jacob to find some Latin chanters so they could de summon the fingers. Oh, okay. So I'm stuck alone in a car with the demon. Okay. Uh, quit complaining and let's go already. God, y'all take forever. I've been in the car the whole time. You're the one that's outside arguing. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot friends. <laughs> Hash Don't brown. forget, you're with me the entire way. Oh, oh believe me. A living hell. Oh, God, living it's going to be nothing but ocean, Why man. do you give me a living hell? Zephy's oh, currently trying to feed uh, Jonathan a um, hash brown. Uh, no, stop, please. <laughs> Personal <note. laughs> You're not hungry? Very well, perhaps I'm later, either. then. <laughs> All right, well, Casimir and Olaf are now in both cars. <laughs> it's a quantum <laughs> state. They are no each in both cars at once. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or just plain indifference. So, hey, question: Does Olaf know of Jonathan? No. no okay. You'd have to roll sharp real quick to figure it out. Well, yeah, I meant like just do I like know him? Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, do it. Have you looked down? <laughs> You have okay. looked down. I know. <laughs> I looked down like, Oi, why is there a wee little lass here now? I'm helping. What's your, I'm Jonathan. <laughs> What's your name? I am Olaf the Conqueror. <laughs> That's a funny oh, name. Hee hee ha ha. Sound like a Viking or something. That's cool. He is. I am from the great island. <laughs> but Vikings are from Norway and Sweden and the okay, north. I lived in I lived there, and then I switched over to Ireland to help the king. He pays me a Would good amount of Would that make him gold. a knight instead? Wait. No. Wait, you're an <laughs> actual Viking? I... Yes, your father goes through lots of misadventures. We'll meet more weird people. Did, did you just say your Wait. father? Wait, shit. <laughs> Never mind. We broke the timeline. She doesn't know. <laughs> Fuck. Right. We need to re- go, go back. <laughs> I just need to know where everyone is right now. Okay. Arlo uh, says Arlo knows a lot of weird people. Turn back to Ar- Arlo's in his truck. Jonathan's riding shotgun. Okay. Olaf is in the bed Olaf of the truck. Zephyr's then... actually sitting in the back in the, with a seatbelt. And I'm and Olaf is in the bed of the trunk, like the bed of the truck. And then uh, Casimir is shotgun on Knight's uh, car. It's car. Okay. Right, Olaf. When we go and over the grenade. State... I'm going with a. Uh... Ezra Cole. Ezra Cole and Jacob. He's going on the Latin enchanting adventure. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
right. So, uh, qu uh, quick thing, uh, quick thing, Arlo tur um, turns to all. Hey, Olaf, once we get over the state line, I'm going to need you to get in the back of the truck because you're not allowed to ride in the bed on freeways, and I don't want to get a ticket. I don't like getting in there, though. It's yeah, so well, I don't up. like. Well, I don't like paying money to the. I don't like paying money to the police officer. So we're. Oh, if it's money you need, I could just ask the king to bring some. Your king's Come been now, dead. Olaf. He's being yeah, very kind to take you to your right, next you battle. Run, Perhaps you could sit with me. Look, you're not. You're you're fine there for now. But once we cross the state line, you're gonna have to move up here. Okay, so just very well. Only because the good Vakaide asked so. Thank you, I think Zerby. I've realized that the situation isn't that the players are confused. It's that I'm confused. <laughs> Everyone keeps talking over each other. <laughs> okay, and I'm in the car with Casimir, and then and everyone I, I, else I get where everyone is now. I just had an epiphany. Okay. <laughs> okay. Making sure. Epiphany. Everyone's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> right of death. Imminent. Can we start the going? Rest falls from the sky. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Well, Sorry. So how do how do we want to? It's not any singular person's fault. How do we want to split this up here? Do we want to do grenades adventures first? We do we want to sprinkle it back and forth? I'll figure it out as it goes along. Okay. <laughs> well, first things first, because of the fact that Zephy and Casimir aren't in the same car, I assume the ride's a bit smoother. Yeah. Weirdly enough. Call... Weirdly enough. Like, Casimir has caused it to where Kit's radio has just been playing Ocean Man nonstop the entire day. <laughs> oh, Lord. not entirely sure how that happened. Ocean Man! Casimir just, Casimir Maybe. just, Ocean Man. Meanwhile, we're listening to, uh, in Arlo's truck, you're I listening to. You could sing. You're not listening. Bad, actually. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're listening to Arlo's entire collection of country hits. <laughs> Which is worse? You yep. decide. Yep, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, nothing. There go. Oi, can we ever do any other great Irish music? I don't listen. I do not think the current Irish, Irish music Irish? matches what you wish. <laughs> this isn't Irish music. This is country music. It's American. I mean, Ooh, if uh, you have a flogging Molly CD, he doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> you can introduce him to modern Ireland. Um, uh, Jonathan's like, um, do, do you do you have anything else you can listen to? Nope. <laughs> okay. Can't even be merciful and put on some ACDC. Heart. I know oh, a few oh, religious hymns. Oh my god! <laughs> Christian oh. rock music. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> the will sing for us. Oh, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Nope. Arlo turns the mu music like way up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me. I want to look up. the ocean, man. It sounded so bad. Christian rock. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Don't start playing actual music. No, okay, I'm not, I'm and not. Uh, copyright issues. And Jonathan is going to attempt to cast a spell real quick to hex the radio and cause it to malfunction and stop working. <laughs> Can I do that? Sure. Go for it, dude. I just okay, realized. that's a 14. Uh, <laughs> just Jonathan, Jonathan just kind of sitting there gnawing on his nails and just waves his fingers and... Yeah, hey, like, really. Tris, like sparks just start spewing from the, like, the speakers for a few seconds before everything just goes silent. Ah, like, God damn it, I'm going to have to get that fixed. Oh no, I wonder how that hey. happened. Don't worry, I got us. I don't know how to say all these. Oh my god. I legit <laughs> looked up. Her and her and I legit <laughs> looked up so. <laughs> Here, I got y'all. Hold up. A tingus, dingus, dingus. Okay. King Hrathung had two sons. One was called Agna, the other Giroth. Agna was ten or one two was old, and Giroth eight. Once they both rode in a boat or with their fishing gear to catch little fish, and the wind drove them back out to the sea. In the darkness on the night, they were wrecked on the shore. Then going up, they found a poor peasant with whom they stayed there through the winter. The housewife took care of Agnar and the peasant cared for Gareth and taught him wisdom. You know, at this point in time, a ticket ain't sounding too bad. <laughs> are you reading lyrics or are you sight reading? 
I'm reading lyrics. Okay. Well, okay, let me rephrase this. I'm reading Ezra Cole just English turns to Grenade as they're walking towards a church. So what exactly are the kids listening to nowadays? I'm, I'm kind of out of the loop when it comes to Earth stuff. Oh, I found a much better one. Dang it. Oh my god! <laughs> this is talk sickening. Grenade's thing. Let him talk. I know. What happened now? Yeah. Wait, what was that? As Ezra Cole uh, asked what sort of music kids yeah. listen to nowadays. I'm kind of out of the loop with Earth stuff, so I don't know what the kids are listening to nowadays. It's, uh, it's a mixture between uh, pop and rap. Personally, I don't like listening to those myself. I'm more of a electronic kind of guy. Are the fat boys still big? Jeez, even I'm not that far behind the times. <laughs> and I literally owned a biker bar in Texas. <laughs> When's the last time you heard music? Which one of us are you talking to? Uh, whoever just said about frat boys. I mean, I don't know. The uh, main thing is, is that most of the music we get to listen to is from the various musicians that end up in hell. Sometimes they hold concerts. So, I mean, so, usually just anyone who's died. <laughs> what kind of musicians end up in hell? I mean, literally just any of them who happen to have eaten bacon, usually. Or shrimp. Oh, Again, uh, a lot of minor infractions. I went a whole nother route with that. Okay. I'm not even going to say the thing that came in my mind with that one. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess with that little, like, little interlude, we'll cut back to the rest of the party. Just a funny little side gag. Uh, side? Are we talking about Arlo's car or my car? Either one. Let's go to your car because we already had our car. Yeah, Ocean Man is just playing on repeat in the background. <laughs> Ocean Man, take me, take me by, by the hand, lead me to the land. This is my favorite song since coming to this world. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Man. Elmo's world. Take me by. The that's when I'm trying to summon power, okay? This is actual music. <laughs> Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, the voyage to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Ocean man, the crust of a tan man in bed by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man, can you see through the run of amazement? At the Arbor Man, Ocean Man, the crust is a right, Luther Winnick. What? <laughs> I knew it. If I had a million, if I could bet one penny for every time I said something and you didn't listen, I'd be a millionaire. I I swear. I'm listening to this good song and you're like ruining it now, okay? <laughs> Ocean Man, the sequence <laughs> of a life I'm praised in the sand. Over and over. Soaking up the thirst of the land. Yes, because this is a good song. I mute the radio on my um, steering wheel. If you wheel. want, I can play another one of my favorites it's called Through the Fire and the Flames. Oh <laughs> Specifically metal. the Doggo Force version. <laughs> that one in Ocean Man, like, like a lot of y'all's moto hum music is terrible, but those two, I really hope they come to hell. Well, I don't listen to the one music of today. I listen to music from a different time. You could no say. wonder you're so boring. You gotta listen to these. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Actually, Don't make me stop this car you? and you hit your head against the freaking... You're gonna leave a face imprint on the dashboard. I swear, I give you one compliment and you be a freaking turd. This is where you get off. This is immediately turned into an oh my god, really? <laughs> you can leave it I behind next to you. I swear, I'm gonna we make Marlo already, take Casimir and I will take care of the kid. Because the kid <laughs> is much of a more drive bearable. Is it from, uh, what was it, Illinois? Where's the farm? New Orleans? I thought that Nebraska. was the family. Nebraska. Hmm. And where are we going? To Louisiana. To New Orleans. Louisiana. <laughs> I right, well, Nebraska to Louisiana 
is about a 15 hour drive. Yep. <laughs> I'm God. going to kill myself. <laughs> on, a, on a good we day. We switch off at a rest stop. <laughs> I'm going to commit life knot. <laughs> I'm going to jump off a bridge. <laughs> you cannot take Ocean you Man. You have to listen to Ocean Man for almost 15 All right. hours. Alright, re- oh, rest. Re- rest okay, I'm just going to cut radio. back to the other three uh, to the uh, three characters right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Actually, now that I think about it, kid, uh, did actually recently see, uh, oh god, I forgot his name, Ziggy Stardust. David Bowie. Saw David Bowie live, or I guess hey. technically dead. But, that was dead great. Your entertainment. Huh. Well. Oh. Uh. <laughs> did the kids still listen to him? <laughs> I swear I'm cool. Not really kids of now more like kids of then oh god yeah labyrinth was his best movie white chicks was amazing <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie and you know it <laughs> uh, she says this you're approaching a small chapel just kind of dramatically throws open the doors Hey, Reggie, you here? The Reggie fills to me. <laughs> she sees as uh, she says the like right after she says this. This very startled priest just comes out from like one of the back rooms. Uh, what the friend? Who's asking? Hi, Ricky Balboa. Of course. Uh, <laughs> well. Currently, right now, a demon, a person of indeterminate gender, and a vampire. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what is it you want? How's your Latin? Bayonet. Uh, that that's a decent why. Church of the Twelve-Handed God mean anything to you? Not really. Okay, world's ending, you don't even know. Great. That's just great. All right. Simply put, gonna need you and a good number of your friends to do your best Latin. Huh. Quiet. Mm-hmm. Light it, come on. Big brain. Oh I shit! Think I think he fucking died, guys. Yeah, uh-uh. my boy. Guys, that means we get to run the session. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> Ocean man, take me take by, by the hand, take me to the man. man. That you really want? Do you know we could do get a drink. When I get to New Orleans, because I'm going to need it after surviving you. Wait, if it's a 15 hour drive, are we stopping? Do y'all actually want to, you know, yeah, trade we're cars switch. around real quick and, like, trade some people? Yeah, we're going to switch. It. I will gladly trade people. Oh, you want to get stuck with Olaf singing whatever I just posted? It's humming, not singing. So it's just oh, a tune. I can sing I don't it. actually have to hear it. Hot you said it's humming. Hot art thou fire to fist by far, get ye flames. The matter is I birth, so I bet you can walk the fire with with scorches the fur. I will take Zephy and the kid. Fires now wait nights have uh, I don't think you should and do that, that to Arlo, out of character. Save and are alone in the ocean. Oh, fuck, his internet went out. He really did leave. Guys, it's our session now. Yay. Okay. That might mean our internet's going to go out. Tom. Moment, uh, everyone at home, one moment, please. We are experiencing some technical difficulties here. <clears throat> Casimir singing Ocean Man was too powerful. <laughs> yeah, but do you actually want to switch it up, though? Yeah, we're going to switch up. All right, but here's the thing. Agent Knight is trying to take Joseph out of the car, so you want to do something with that real quick while we wait? I wasn't Arlo's... forcing him. I'm just saying I want someone that isn't going to drive Arlo's... me insane. Arlo's fine with uh, letting John. It's Jonathan. You're going to make a point to call him Joseph, aren't you, Zane? I'm going to do it out of habit on accident now. Not even sheer being mean, just sheer. I'm associating his name as Joseph now. 
uh, it's Jonathan. The, the, it's, okay. I'm thinking of Jonathan Joestar, but I'm thinking of my favorite Joestar. Joseph, Joseph, Joestar. Is be- Joseph is best Joestar, but like, okay, you back like. <laughs> uh, okay, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, well, I hear you. So <laughs> okay. All right, let's go back. My to internet the- just went out. Mm-hmm. Fine. Is like power storm? temporarily went out, and apparently I have no internet. All right, is it storm? So it's storming over there, or is it just? Yeah, it's storming, storming over here too. Mm. Yeah, is it? But literally, like my lamp flickered off and came oh. back on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're probably gonna have to wait a couple minutes before your internet reboots. <clears throat> yeah. We were talking probably. about a rest stop. They were playing uh, a, well, a let's, Chinese fire drill let's, real quick. Yeah, let's finish the scene with Ganade and um, Ezra Cole. Cole. And, uh, okay, where was where was it that my voice cut off? The last thing we heard was, we need y'all to do your best Latin impre- impressions. Okay. Uh, he was expl- she was explaining to him like what was going on, and then it said, Latin, need you and about and a bunch of your friends, and that's when it cut out. Did she mention the Church of the Twelve Hands of God thing? Or? Yes. 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 Okay. And the church person said, I have no clue what that is. The, okay, after she... Okay, basically, she goes, all right, so... Basically, we need you to, uh, you and a couple of your friends, to do some nice little demonic Latin chanting to get rid of some pieces of an elder god. Demonic he just kind of looks aside from her towards Ganeda Jacob and just goes, I- Is she serious right now? Ganeda, that's to you. Uh, hello? Yeah, she's serious right that. now with that. Internet's dying. Hello? Anthony, can you hear me? Hello. I can't Anthony, hear you are you able, for some reason. Are you no. able to understand what I am saying? I don't think you can hear us. Dear God, I think my internet is crapping out. We have I had to switch over to my fucking phone. Mm-hmm. We're having double internet inter- 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 internet problems. Yeah, like you guys are like cutting in and out, and it's actually hard to understand anything. Try, oh try leaving and rejoining. Okay. Oh, but that you understood. <laughs> I know. I'm over here, like trying to type to be the translator. Are you good now? God. Maybe. Maybe. Are you able to understand us? It's not cutting out. I think we're good for now. Okay. The priest kind of looks from Ezra Cole to Jacob and Gennade and just goes, I- is she being serious right now? Um, not too... Oh, um, no, sorry, I'm confusing characters. Uh, yes, she is very serious. So, very serious times type situation going on. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Great. Thanks to have you on... Great to have you on board, Reggie. <laughs> it's just funny to me. <laughs> now, excuse me. I have a few other priests to get in touch with. Are you sure? It's Not in the way they're used to. Priests are low. <laughs> Nice meme. Gonna switch back over to the rest of the party. Yeah, we stop at a rest stop and we're switching up the cars. <laughs> at a rest stop, Arlo just kind of gets out, just kind of looking a little annoyed. Right, My radio went I out. I get out of the car and start wanting to bang my head against a wall or something. Bang a ring. Uh, Miss Knight, you want a cigarette? You look like you need one. I need more than that. You have right. any alcohol? Uh, you're <laughs> driving, so no, I don't have any for. Mm-hmm. Just right. let me too. Mm-hmm. I'll take the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you two are the only party members who know how to drive. <laughs> for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, that's not true. Casimir drove once. <laughs> no, he oh, didn't. No. <laughs> he was not touching my car. <laughs> no, yeah. he didn't drive. Right, he didn't drive so... the truck that one time. Dang. No. I it turns no. to age nine. Right, so my radio went out somehow. I don't know what happened. Her, uh, the Vikings started singing old Viking oh, hymns, yeah. and I'm yeah. ready. I'm ready to pull my hair out. So, want to oh, switch I up a bit? Casimir, 
And he's just singing Ocean Man over and over again the whole time. Oh my god, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> over and over. The same lines again and right. again. Right. I'd it's trust... really only the chorus. You're not sure how that's how that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> right. I trust you with my kid. I just don't want Casimir anywhere near him, but it sounds like you <laughs> break from him. So just I don't know, you just Does that mean that Casimir shall be driving with us? <laughs> Casimir, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> Casimir is in the car. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, I th- no, I meant like while he was walking to transfer, I could hear him. Oh, we I'm, have still, like, get away. I'm still in the car. Y'all haven't told me anything yet. I... Oh, I thought it was. <clears throat> oh, I'm still in the car. Okay, that's that's kind of funny. Right. Um, let me. Uh... Let me see if we can uh, trade up. Yes, Casimir will be riding with us. Zephy, can you play nice for a bit? Oh, yes. Of course. Of course. I rolled a so, sense motive. <laughs> let me get this straight. The I am only smoking a cigarette is... while shaking, basically. The only switch being Pretty made nice. is that Casimir is getting traded with Jonathan. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So oh. you're putting Casimir in your truck with Zephy and Olaf. Yeah, I know it's a bad idea, but... <laughs> okay, so Arlo goes over Jonathan. All right, Jonathan, you're going to ride with Miss Knight for a bit. She needs a break from Casimir, it seems like. And I'm, I'm going to go buy some earplugs real quick, and uh, we'll, we'll call that one good. Okay. Jonathan. I head over my car. Okay. And open the passenger door where Casimir is. Casimir, you're going what? to go ride with Harlow. And I'll be taking Jonathan with me so you won't have to ride with the kid. I'll be riding with the kid. You get to ride over there. Okay? I mean, I really don't care whether I ride with the kid or not. But... Uh, you the kid car. and you almost threatened to kill the kid when you first met the kids. So, no, I'll yeah. scare the kid. I'm good with kids. You've never been around one. <laughs> You've never seen me been around one. My point exactly. Yeah, because y'all... You enough with them. That's where you're wrong. I had a lot of kids that I helped out in hell. You ate them. Shut up, Ezekiel. You're not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not trusting you with a kid. I'm not even I mean, sure y'all did. trust you me. You literally just ate ghosts. Y'all trust me with y'all's life, so I think I can handle one kid. An adult I'm is going ghost. Kid. An adult, I can shoot you if I need to. Yes, like, and how many times themselves. has me getting shot helped in any way? Well, how many times you need have to think shot? for this. Exactly. It's helped with my headaches. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that monkey? I need to shoot something. Winston, reporting for duty. <laughs> that was good. So we're that literally good. just giving Arlo everyone who's antagonistic and problematic. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> and no radio. <laughs> Casimir yeah, I'm not sure that. how exactly it happened, but your speakers are working again. The problem is they're only playing the chorus of Ocean Man. Uh. Hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I can't well, get away from this song. No, you've gotten away not, from it. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, it Casimir. followed him. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> the curse of the Casimir. <laughs> <laughs> Casimir gets in the uh, front seat as well. Okay. <laughs> Zephy is, you know, hovering behind his head now, behind the car seat. <laughs> Within whacking range. <laughs> yep. Hello, Casimir. How is your trip Zephy, so far? Zephy, play nice. I am only been, asking him how things have been going. I've been having a good time listening to my favorite song. Oh, what song is it? It's Ocean Say what playing over the radio right now. <laughs> It's this song right here. It's amazing. I feel like it is lacking certain parts to make it a song. What are you talking about? Because it is a chorus right now, only, you said? It's just the chorus. Yes. It's only the chorus. Yeah. What are you talking about? 
This is the Zephy song. Zephy decides to start, you know, humming along with Casimir if he starts singing. Oh, oh no. <laughs> How is Olaf taking this? Hi, Jonathan. Olaf is gonna go. You say this is good music? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> this is a real song. He <laughs> starts singing. This is a. Oh God! I'm gonna get some good music. Hot up the fire. Oh no! You'll have to sing the whole thing. We can move on to an actual conversation Arlo. that moves plot along. Hello. Arlo. Hello. <sighs> it's it's a lot quieter in this car. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Believe me, it's much more peaceful over here with those three over there. They're the Oof. loud ones of the group if you haven't figured that out already. You don't like country music, do you? I'm not as much of a lover as your father. Oh, thank God. <laughs> as Just... when I don't force other people to listen to music if they don't like it. I'm more free will on that. Is he always like that? Pretty much. He loves his country. He's very passionate about that. <laughs> My father is passionate. It's interesting. But yeah. other than your father and me, we're the only two main big level-headed ones. <laughs> the other three are kind of crazy, but helpful, if that makes sense. The Viking guy seemed pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf is going to go, oh, chill. <laughs> when did he become Japanese? Bless you, Olaf. <laughs> oh, thank you. I might be coming yeah. down with a cold. Cover your mouth next time. No, it'll just take nice you a while to get used to. Kazan. He has a personality of his own, you could say. <laughs> he threatened to kill me. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right for him. He says a lot of stupid things. I don't I don't think Mr. Adams took very kindly to that. Well, it makes sense. You're his son. <laughs> Protect your father. Instinct, well, right? Well, yeah, I guess. I just don't really know him. <laughs> Probably shouldn't mention the fact that, that, that he almost that. shot a kid in the face with a shotgun yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to take a while to adjust, believe me. Mm. All of them joined me on my missions, and it took me forever <laughs> to get used to it. Uh, technically, you came to us. No, Zephy, you didn't. he's only here to smash Arlo, nothing else. <laughs> Out of character. Oh, Zephy came on to me. Zephy's I up heard on y'all, and then y'all came on to me and joined me. To be so fair, yeah, yeah, we kind of did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want to actually awesome. arrive at our destination, though? Yes. I did love, like, everyone gave up on Catherine, like, oh, he's no longer a bad guy. You know, he's just that <laughs> idiot. <laughs> no back in character. Mm -hmm. He's just a liability. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of existence will bring about the end of the world. To all this. <laughs> Try to see what Jonathan's going to react to all this, all I'm saying. Okay, yeah, jo Jonathan seems to be fairly calm for the most part when it comes to this, and just, just kind of like, he's just very contemplative and seems to be fairly introverted for the most part, but he's he's just kind of like, okay, this is kind of where I need to be for the time being, so. That's where, uh, I'm just so. trying to grow trust with this kid. Mm -hmm. well, so he has a somewhat normal person to trust. So, uh, <laughs> Agent yeah. I got stuck <laughs> with like seven hours of Ocean Man, and now Arlo's getting stuck with eight of it. Mm -hmm. He has yep. he bought he bought earplugs, so I think he was that's prepared, the case. Unlike me. is gonna look at him and be like, "Is it smart wearing earplugs when you're driving? You're not gonna hear anything." What you say something? <laughs> you better hope that like an emergency doesn't happen, like an ambulance or fire truck isn't going that's past or I'm something. Just, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like, is that Are... a smart thing to do? Arlo's keeping an eye on his rearview mirror, <clears throat> side mirrors, so. But he can't notice if Zephy starts harassing Kazmir. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> We're just gonna. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna do that. I just want to get to the town. So any harassment's yeah, yeah, been yeah, very minor. Yeah. So all so right. They all uh, reached their just destination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you managed to get to the outskirts of New Orleans. Mm-hmm. 
And Should it looks stick. worse for wear. Oof! Are there, there, there are a few everywhere? buildings. Mainly what you're seeing is like a few buildings that have holes in them, cars that have been either flipped or smashed or ripped to pieces. Uh, All right. Scattered pieces of corpses. Never, a, never anything solid. It's just like, like a single limb at most. Well, okay. this certainly looks similar to Casimir's work, so I would assume that this is a finger. Holy shit, what happened here? Uh, I'm not Ar- gonna lie, Zephy. That's a good observation. <laughs> uh, Jonathan just kind of looks and just like looking wide-eyed like, oh my god, this is my hometown. And just like, oh, this didn't know it was this bad. Is the car parked and everything? Of course. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we, we've okay. parked. No. We're Casimir's gonna watch gonna... our cars just roll oh, down the hill. Okay, Casimir's gonna get out and like go. Ah, the fresh smell of corpses. I love it. Casimir? Well then, shall we get some stretching in before we look for this thing, Casimir? Confirming the failure. Jonathan, because he's guess what? in shock. I'm gonna beat you. You'll yeah. beat me to find him. I no, doubt I'm gonna it. beat you in stretching. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Arlo goes. Uh, Arlo goes and retrieves his um, his shotgun from the gun rack. Go, uh, goes up next to Jonathan too, and just kind of keeps an eye out, making sure nothing's coming after him. Jonathan seems to be reacting fairly well to the comfort, just um, kind of like acknowledging it, but then just like trying to shake it off. Like, okay, we're here to help out, so we need. Uh, so I need to be focused here. Casimir is gonna like lean into Zephy and be like, "Look, okay. he's giving the kid the shotgun. I knew it." <sighs> I'm gonna go back to my car, pop the trunk, and get my guns. Perhaps humans do this nowadays. <laughs> and kids then, then, Jonathan, then Jonathan reaches into his backpack and pulls <laughs> and pulls out a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> See, he has his own smaller child size gun. Oh, that's it, awesome! Yo, that's it's like a, They have guns like a, for kids too. Oh, I'm just going to so say wild. this. Elsewhere in the town, this unfamiliar looking goth lady just kind of rises off from a pile of dead spider beast corpses <gasps> and My just sister. starts walking off. <laughs> I have a sister, yay! Arlo's going <laughs> to. Arlo's gonna walk up to one of the buildings and attempt to investigate a mystery to see if I could track the source of this mayhem. What do the spiders look like, real quick, anyways? Uh, let me see. Uh, bear sized spider like monstrosities with clustered eyes, wolf like tooth filled yeah. jaws, and several clawed limbs. Are we talking like tarantula looking or like black widow looking? It, basically, a spider is the closest thing that you could compare it to. It's this weird, bulbous body with several legs coming off of it. I'm and thinking of the spider from Harry Potter. No, not really. It's right. rubbery. Okay. I'm thinking like the Harry Potter spiders, you know, that big one? Hmm. Not even close. Dang. All right, so can I roll to investigate a mystery to try to track down the source of this thing or see if... Um. Uh, yeah, let me see if that thing will still... Okay, investigate a mystery. Investigate a mystery. Oh, nope, that's... Oh, bo- okay, what do you know? This PDF still opens for me, even though I have no internet. Oh, well, I mean, you could have downloaded it onto your phone or Well, your I just have it to where it's open on my... I just had the PDFs open on my computer. Like, oh, they're okay. They're through Chrome, but... Oh, okay. Well, um, again, it might have been, like, a downloaded type thing, and it's kind I of... I mean, I currently have no internet. I had yeah. internet... And then I lost it again. All right. So I'm going to, um, all right. I'm going to attempt to, um, I'm going to attempt to investigate a mystery. I'm looking at what I can do. And if I get a 10 plus, I get to hold two on a seven to nine. I get to hold one. All right. And that's a sharp roll. It's going to be a seven. So I get to hold one and I'm going to ask, where did it go? I mean, it's kind of a vague question concerning the situation. Okay, so did okay, so whatever destroyed this building, is it still in the immediate area? Is it deeper into the town? Did it escape underground? Is there any sign that I can track it or anything like that just to see what we're up against here? 
based on the wreckage of one of the doors, you're pretty sure that it headed towards the outskirts, meaning that it originated from deeper in the town. Hmm. And Olaf is going to, like, look around, to, or if it's okay, can I try to do the uh, learned ability? Which, uh, when, which I investigate ability? A mystery, when I investigate a mystery, I can ask the following questions as well as the ones in the usual list. Which is, did it uh, exist in my home time? What defenses are oh. effective against it? And what do I know that has been forgotten? I mean, I can tell you right now that you have no fucking clue. <laughs> this is absolutely nothing like anything you've dealt with before. Okay. Hmm. Then, uh, Olaf is just gonna go. Finally. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> go hunting, boy. All right, so now... Your fox just starts kind of taking off down one of the streets towards the center of town. Okay, so now Jonathan is going to use uh, one of his spooky moves called hunches. When something, ba- uh-huh. when something bad is happening or just about to happen, some- somewhere that I'm not, I can roll a sharp. On a 10+, plus, I know where I need to go just in time to get there. On a 7, on a seven to 9, I can get there late in time to intervene but not prevent it altogether. And just... Okay. I'm at the path All right, so that's going to be a plus one. That's good. Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> On a miss, yeah. I know where to go, but just in, in enough time to get in trouble myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What is it? On a miss, you get there just in... You're pretty sure that there is a survivor currently dealing with some of these spider beast things. Someone's Oof. someone's fight someone's fighting deeper in the town. Oh, you mean we'll finally we after? Yeah. I guess we follow the cute fox then. Hi, everybody. After finally. Alrighty, That's I guess. The main lead. <laughs> Olaf is chasing after Fenry. Mm-hmm. I'm, I am following we're after. We're all in pursuit, I was... Yeah. Um, yeah, we're all. Someone else just wants to chill. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is anyone else doing? Casimir is following after. I is Sefi. Mm-hmm. So everyone's in pursuit following the wolf. It's not wolf, fox. fox. The is fox. It is a fox. Like if there's anything else. I said cute fox earlier. I'm the tiny cute. ghost fox. <laughs> the cute little fox. Yep, it's like, is it like blue and glowy or like, what does it yes, look like? It is okay. blue and glowy. <laughs> yes. Are we gonna have a bad time? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, I ah! did not say that to me. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you sing that song? Uh. Um, hmm. Basically, as you're going, uh, okay, I'm going to need all those people, all you guys going down that way to do, do me a sharp roll. Okay, here's Arlo's. I'm going to roll. Eight. I didn't fail a sharp roll. That's going to be a 13 for Arlo and for Jonathan. 11. Jonathan got a 10. I right, and then here is Olaf. Easy. An eight. And here is Casimir. Wait, Nine. it's a perfect right. roll. Oh my god. So everyone sees the spider beast just kind of pour out of an alley in front of them. There's like two of those. However, uh... Ganade, you're not there. Why did you roll? <laughs> <laughs> you're in Nebraska. Oh, right. Hmm. Uh, oh man, you wasted a perfect roll. That sucks. <laughs> It's Arlo, Jonathan, and Kit, you notice that three more come up behind you. No, I'm just helping Z- uh, uh, Zephy in a distance. <laughs> <laughs> We're surrounded. Oh, so that, that rolls a nine instead of an eight? <laughs> <laughs> you still only notice the ones in front of you. Oh, shit, yeah, they're I flanking was, us. I- I think we're surrounded by these nasty spider things. Just, does Jonathan recognize them? Yes. They're the ones that destroyed his home, yes? Yes. Yeah. I've seen these things I'd before. really be concerned for the boy's memory if he didn't. Yeah, okay. 
okay, I thought so, but like, okay, ne never mind. Jonathan's like, I've seen these things before. They're the ones that attacked my home. Okay. <laughs> we just have to tap through them, shall we, Casimir? Casimir pulls out his sword and be like, oh, I've been waiting for this. Zephy gets her hammer at the ready. Mm. Arlo. Okay. Arlo cocks his shotgun. Jonathan aims his revolver. <laughs> you're currently dealing with four of them, two in front, two behind. Mm -hmm. Arlo's deal uh, aiming at the two behind. Jonathan is aiming at the ones behind. All right. Uh, like the two behind you guys lunge in unison, and one of them manages to get its jaws on you, Arlo. Ah, shit. Okay. <laughs> so that's two harm. Oof. All right. <clears throat> Okay. Two harm. Yep. Ow. That's All right. too many, dude. And I I attempt to blow its head off with my shotgun. All right. How much does your shotgun do? Three harm plus devastating, so four harm. Did you manage to get a good roll for that, or what? Uh, should I roll? Did you enchant your shotgun? I didn't enchant my shotgun. Uh, Devastating is an ability uh, that I took. It was from the Chosen One. I, whenever I deal harm, okay. I can deal plus one harm. So. All right. Okay. So that means I... that a total of three harm just happened to the thing. It kind of, like, it violently shudders, but it hasn't let go. And there's also the other one, which, who else facing those two? Uh, Jonathan and Arlo are. I don't know if Agent Knight is as well. I mean, Agent Knight noticed them too. I don't know which mm -hmm. direction she's facing. I noticed, I noticed them, and then I see, I guess, it attack Arlo first. So, well, there's two has of it them done anything there. towards Jonathan, though? There's like, two. I know it uh, lunged, but has it, like... The other one Jonathan. seems to be going for the two of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to shoot at the one that is... Because th none of them are coming at me, right? Not yet. Sure well, right? mm -hmm. that other one is coming for the two of you, so... It's either going to hit the boy or you. It depends on which one's farther, uh, closer towards it. Jonathan's probably a little bit... Mm, Preoccupied? Might be closer, I don't know. Um... I don't know which one would have been closer to the back of the group. Making me choose between trying to actually, save Arlo or actually, save a boy. Actually, Arlo was probably um, um, Arlo was probably following after Jonathan, who had a hunch and was going out a little bit, kind of taking point. So, um, <laughs> it's going after Kit. Okay. Okay. Well, first I'm going to attack the one that's coming at me. All right. Uh, Ten. Okay, I was gonna say that I was gonna have you roll sh uh, sharp. For, I mean, cool for this one. Oh, well, my cool is two, not three. So, do you want to just okay. subtract one? Okay, from so it, that'll or? be a nine. All yeah. right. Uh, basically, right when you get the shot off, it changes direction and is now on the wall of one of the buildings, just kind of splayed out, like crawling across that. And a few of your bullets managed to hit. Uh, what's okay. your what what damage does that gun do? believe, if I remember correctly. I have to look back on here. Uh, hey, Kyle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to have Zephy and, Ka and Casimir charge at the same time at the two in front? <laughs> oh, trust A. I have a good idea, so watch. If you want to do this. Mm -hmm. It might backfire on you, so I apologize. <laughs> um, Casimir is going to pick up, like, a wall from one of the nearby houses. <laughs> the and so I'm some going... rubble from one of the walls, or what? No, like, a, I want, like, a huge piece, like... You're just gonna tear apart the house? Yes. You know what? I'm picking up the house itself. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it down at one, at the uh, two spiders there. Okay, assault rifle does three it harm. Does it has one push. armor, but because of the fact that it dodged, it only yeah. takes one damage and it is now on the wall. How much damage does throwing a house do? Five <laughs> harm. Damage. That's it's the five? Possible. It's I five the harm. Possible. Well, that's well, like what it says on Mayhem. Because a bus, truck, wall, etc. does five harm. So. <laughs> I mean, you only managed to get part of it because of how pressure works. 
It would yeah, still be just... with a wall. So you managed to get a section of like some of the pipes that probably weighs a few hundred pounds, if so... not closer to a thousand. Okay, because like, so a car dumpster boulder is four harm, and then bus truck wall is five harm. So what would we? Are we gonna uh, go I with? I guess the... that we're just gonna go with five harm. So throw it. Uh, roll me for that one. Okay. Uh, so by the way. After, so it does the damage no matter what. It's just okay. the side effect afterwards. So all right. Go so ahead, it says cause... roll plus harm. So that's tough, right? Yeah. That would, no, that would be plus the harm. So that'd be plus. Uh, that'd be with the five. Or okay. Let me, roll. Let me look plus... at the thing for the. Let me look at the mayhem thing specifically. Okay, because it says after you inflict uh, harm with it, roll plus oh, harm yeah. the weapon actually caused. So basically, what you do. Oh, what what it actually caused, so that'd be four. Like, it hits the one of them, and it, like, crumples and falls backwards before, like, getting up and just kind of staggering back to its feet, screeching okay. at you. So, roll plus, uh, roll 2d6 plus four. Okay. A 12. Oof. That's bad. You went low for this, right? Yes. Yeah, so yes, you also managed to hit Zephy. <laughs> ah, Casimir! <laughs> I told you it might come to backfire. Add a fire hydrant. Oh no. <laughs> so Zephy takes three harm? <laughs> Let's see. If... Yeah, three harm. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can Zephy have been like busy trying to slap the other one when this happens? So like she slaps she tries to slap this spider and then he hits it with the concrete. Yeah. All right. I mean, if you want this, you could have it to where this sends you into the jet of water streaming into the air. No thanks. I've had enough fall damage for a session already. I mean, I wasn't going to add fall damage to that. <laughs> so you're saying instead of attacking, I get launched into a fire hydrant? You get thrown into a fire hydrant, launched into the air, and just kind of land on the ground. All right. Zephy is currently on the ground, not having gotten to attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> the spider beast that you were about to hit just kind of looks back and forth a bit confused. <laughs> uh, right. Sorry, Zappy! Okay, uh, <laughs> Jonathan is going to attempt to shoot the spider that's attacking Arlo. Alright, how much damage does the revolver do? Two, Two damage, yeah. Okay, so it takes one harm. Mm -hmm. It's still biting. Uh, he needs to roll, right? Do I need well, to roll no, kick because... Down? Kick some ass would basically be a whole thing of, like, both of you going at it with each other. Mm. Oh. That's the whole thing. And, um, alright. Yeah, and Arlo's... Which, uh, Zephy, you hear some footprints approaching you from the opposite direction of the rest of the party. Oh. As you're just laying face down in this water. Can I have Zephy try to look at what's happening? Like where the footsteps are coming from? Yep. All right, Zephy does so. All right. She picks uh, her hand out of the water and tries to look at the footsteps. All right. Uh, what's the name of this character again? Taika. All Taika. right. Uh, what kind of shoes is Taika wearing? Ah, oh, damn. I don't know. Uh, Let's say with like some long black boots or something. Let's go full. Yeah, golf. base. Yeah, basically, it's like some knee-high black, like, sleek black boots. You just see those coming towards you. <laughs> Zephy's gonna try to... Zephy's confused. She's never seen shoes like that. <laughs> She's never seen full goth before. But whoever is running at them looks really angry. And the spider she... beast that you were about to hit sees her, turns around and hi uh, turns towards her and hisses before charging. All right. While the one that nearly died is going after Casimir. All right. Well, Zephy is going to take this moment to try to get up and try to go mm. towards the one that's already dead with Casimir. Meanwhile, the really goth fucking chick is going to scream before she throws her hand forward and snaps really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to try to use her fucking magic on the spoiler. 
the one that's lunging at her? Yes, of course. All right. And tell um, me what that damage does. Let's see. Do I have to just do I have to roll or not? Nah? Well, not right now. This is like. Tell me what this does. Lightning missile. So one harm, magic far, obvious lab, plus one more harm and messy because it's lightning. So how much damage is that total? Two. Total two. Yeah. Did you only go with? I thought you also had the third effect. Yeah, missile does one harm. Yeah, missile does one harm, and then lightning does one harm, and then fire does plus two harm. But I don't think you mix it like that, do you? I'm pretty sure you do. Combat magic, pick three. Your combat you... spells can combine any of your base spells with any of your effects. So I can mm -hmm. do lightning fire at the same time. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, rules as written, you can. All right. If we're doing this as re read as written, yeah. All so right, that's then, I'm four. Gonna do, I'm gonna do some motherfucking fire lightning, you know. Uh, which that was okay. So that's missile. Four. So one. Okay. Yeah, it means uh, I can snipe people. Well, but do just, like. Hmm? Yeah, which I'd say uh, do a either a weird or a tough roll to see which way you do with this. Actually, to see if. Uh, it's we weird can, since it's magic. Uh, uh, when well, you use says, spells to kick yeah. some ass, roll weird instead of tough. Oh yeah, roll weird instead of tough. Okay, so do me a weird uh, magic roll. All right. Any time now, computer. Nine. All right. Well, the spider gets hit with a just a concentrated ball of fire and electricity. Which, Zephy wasn't really sure humans were capable of doing. Zephy is mightily confused. <laughs> and it gets launched backwards. It's on fire, as is the street now. Yeah, take that, you ugly fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have the rest of the party roll sharp to see if they notice that. Alright. Plus three, this is Arlo, that's a ten. You notice? Like, you basically hear someone yell behind you, but you're also kind of distracted by the spider thing currently chomping on your arm. Mm-hmm, and... Uh, Kate, you definitely notice. Jonathan rolls an eight. Jonathan's kind of distracted. Yeah, he just shot a gun and he didn't have earplugs in. <laughs> His ears, His are, ears ringing. are ringing. Mm -hmm. There's still that thing on the wall. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to say that Casimir did in fact notice after he stabbed the spider that was lunging at him, killing it. There we go. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to try and... Attack. That one that was just hit kind of just like skidded to a halt next to the rest of the party on fire. How did you get on fire? <laughs> uh, I'm going to kill you anyway. Okay, so... What does everybody do in response to this shit? <laughs> Zephy's going to take this advantage to try to finish off the spider that just got fire lightning balled. So Arlo is... run, run all the way back to the party, got it. Yeah. Back. Arlo is going okay, to... Okay, you just killed one of the spiders because I had you kill the spider. Yay. You're welcome. Arlo is going to plug another There's shotgun. There's also now currently a burning spider right next to you. Arlo's going to plug another shotgun round into the spider that's chomping on his leg. Jonathan at is going that, to... Heck. At that moment, it goes limp. Also, I thought it was on your arm. What? It, either way, I... It's I the did. size of a bear! Okay, arm then. So just shotgun around. It's dead. And Jonathan is going to attempt to use his powers on the spider that's on the wall. <clears throat> All right. And uh, so I'm going to use the big, the big whammy. I can use um, my powers to kick some ass. I roll weird instead of tough. The attack has two harm, close, obvious, ignore arm. On a miss, I get magical backlash. <laughs> oh, boy. So. Uh, at this point, Jonathan just, um, his ears are ringing. He drops the gun, raises his hands, and just screams as he let, um, as he fires off a wave of force towards the spider on the wall, and that's going to be a 13. Alright, uh, it takes two, and it kinda just, like, 
slams into the wall, falls to the ground, and shrieks at you, but it's also kind of distracted by the person who just came in launching fire, as is the one that's currently on fire. Mm Mm-hmm. And there's also Mm -hmm. part of the street that's on fire between you. I'm gonna shoot the one that Jonathan just tried to attack, because it attacked me. All right. I got 14. I mean, it's distracted, so you don't really need to roll, but uh, oh. let's see. That was. Three harm. It's taken three total of three harm so far, and that's three harm from the weapon, so it is now dead. <clears throat> and that just leaves the on fire one. The girl shoots another magical blast angrily at it. <laughs> Zephy was currently running towards the thing, so it just kind of whizzes past your head. <laughs> <laughs> Zephy kind of ducks out of the way like, oh fuck, magical human. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting showed up by yourself. Mm-hmm. Do you have to roll weird again to fucking hit it? Uh, No, this time it definitely does hit it, and it is... It kind of just explodes. Some things yeah. that are definitely not... like. Flesh that is definitely not normal organs just kind of explodes everywhere and splatters the people around it. <laughs> yeah, take that, you fucking bastard! <laughs> She's, like, breathing really heavily. <laughs> just... Also, uh, can, you, uh, can you tell me what Jonathan's tags are? Jonathan's, um, uh, his dark, dark side, side tags? tags? Yeah, should I, pers- uh, should I PM you? Uh, Amy, you can just tell me, right? Uh, well, yeah, PM me. Okay. Uh, he's got then, so big I know what stack, I'm doing with. soul be gone, and uh, hangry. <laughs> well, I really hope it's not one of these, because I don't think lust would be a good thing for the small boy. No, oh, it's no. not. Don't worry, it's not. <clears throat> okay. Good. You're just kind of weirdly, like, Jonathan's just kind of, like, weirdly grinning at the dead spider thing that he attacked. So he- he screamed with a wave of emotion, and now it's just kind of just... Well, silent. not even, like... Well, Are he's just kind of... Uh, it's a really unsettling smile on his face. Are you okay, Jonathan? Uh, jo- Jonathan, you you all right? Jonathan just ki- ki- kind of looks at it and just kind of turns and looks at him. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Why? Also, Casimir does, in fact, notice the goth lady who just blew up the thing. <laughs> I made sure that you succeeded that role, too. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Casimir's <laughs> gonna be like, who is this Stand shit? back, fucker! I'll launch you into the fucking sun! <laughs> <laughs> she has, like, her glove at the ready to snap at Casimir. The heck are you gonna be shooting at me for? You're another non-fucking human thing here, so you better start fucking talking, alright? I quickly run over. Um, Guys, I don't know if you've stop. noticed. Don't find I'm again, the one please. that freaking killed that one right there with this house. This isn't someone he's had an argument with before. This is a new person you've just met. I'm in again as in to where Casimir gets so mad and then tries to kill everyone. <laughs> it's a good thing he never tried to kill the, uh, Sheriff Grant. Taika kind of pauses for a moment and then just sighs. Just right, right. Sorry, sorry, whatever weird furry boy thing you're doing. Furry boy. She starts here. just calming her hair down. Listen here. Hi. I am a I certified demon, nice. okay? And you are? Taika looks between the two because they kind of talked over each other. Just <laughs> not sure going to respond to you for a moment. She's kind of still kind of off the high of killing the spiders. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh. y'all gonna have to stop talking at the same time if you're gonna, like, you know, have me understand anything y'all just said. Olaf is gonna go up behind her and, like, pat her on the back and go, Oh, I hit Jesus this. fucking Christ, she turns around and <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, they're fucking spiders You wasn't in everywhere. this encounter, what the fuck? <laughs> I just real. oh god, I forgot about Olaf. Well, it kind of happened a little too fast for Olaf to do much of anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of standing dude. there dumbfounded. I've There's never spiders. seen these things before! <laughs> All of this is gonna go, you did a good thing killing whatever those beasts were. Yeah, I'm calling them spiders, which is just an insult to spiders since they're kinda cute, you know? But these things are just. Ugh. I hate They them so are much. loosely spiders, yes. 
Arlo comes up as he's loading a couple uh, rounds into his shotgun. John is going to too. sneak up behind Arlo and be like, "Do you much normally do magic?" Casimir's going to look at what? one of no. like, no wow. words, spiders are known for their tooth-filled maws. Spiders oh, a lot, look a lot tastier than this thing. So no. it, but this lady is capable of casting uh, magic. Well, we do need some. Wait, what? <laughs> what just Tag happened? Tag is going to be like, so uh, a demon, and you're in who again, Miss? Are you telling me? Yeah, you. Okay. The only I'm Miss here. My... You're so yeah, I've got okay. an agent and a demon with me, and uh, you guys are. Ha, oh, I'm Olaf the Conqueror, a great Viking from Ireland. Well, All right, an Irish dude. <laughs> give me your name, I'll give you mine. I go by Taika. What about you? Arlo. And this is... <laughs> well, Arlo. Nice to meet you, too. Any reason you're dragging a kid around here? Or are you trying to get him out of here? That's this what is I've it. been trying to ask, but no one freaking listens to me. This is his. This is his home. He knows a little bit of way around the place more than I do, so he's kind of a guide here. Wait, oh, kid, you, uh, you trying to find the source of all this bullshit then? Yeah. Uh, Arlo kind of looks over at Agent. Wait. Trust Wait. this girl. <laughs> hey, kid, you live in this place? Gotta say. Right now, this. Place you got some is good a... taste. Ugh. I turn to tell you. Right now, this is a personal government issue of business that we're working on so yeah i'm not sure the government should be using kids as guides but okay whatever uh, you did tell me that uh, Taika does not about this about group you know. as normal Light Lydic, has jonathan kind of returned to normal at this point in time or he still seems a bit twitchy yeah just kind of um, kind of anything about this group that is normal Tiger. Casimir is going to go up to John and be like, Hey, kid. What the heck is wrong with you? Mm. Hello? And he's going to like start poking him in the face like what he did to Casimir. <laughs> well, okay. anyways, well, I don't really know exactly what the fuck caused this. I know a good place to start looking. Oh, it was just one of my siblings. Uh, is hell invading? You're making a great cause... case for your survival here. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's not a demon. It's a uh, what was it, Arlo? What was the thing you all called it? I don't feel comfortable some, disclosing that it's... information. I'm pretty sure it's. Some, yeah. I think what they they call it a god of some Shut kind. Up, Kashmir. <laughs> all right, Mister Demon. Okay. Since you're the only one who's actually you know being fucking helpful for me here, how about you <laughs> come with me? I know the perfect place to start looking. Hey, think. I've been. Mean, if you know where this sibling is, that makes it easier for me. I've been trying to kill it for. I don't really know if the sibling's still there, but I know where a lot of this started out happening. I well, the quicker we find it, the quicker I can kill it. So let's go. All right, let's go then, demon boy. She, you know, turns around, does like the like whatever f fuck you flips, like just like the double finger flip you off and starts God. walking. <laughs> Casimir is gonna look at her and then back to them, and be like, "I'm going with her. Screw y'all." Damn it, Casimir. She seems more fun. Let's go. <sighs> you ever been to a rave, Demon Boy? The heck is a rave? I uh, think a lot of people dressed, you know, kind of like you. Lots of flashing colors. You'll love it. It's fine. Pretty Yo, sure people love you, too. Bugs. That sounds lit. I mean, I it will is. just say that all those people are dead now, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she, she's she she's pretty sure the demon doesn't care about that. <laughs> uh, okay, so the street is still on fire. Yes. Yeah, yes. Taika doesn't really care about that. Yeah, I mean, granted, it's also kind of being doused by the broken fire hydrant. Yeah, yeah. true. But even so, just ca kind of. Oh, uh, speaking of which, Olaf is going to go to the uh, uh, fire hydrant and be like, "What is this thing? Is it?" Is this a magical item that can hold water? It ain't magic, it's plumbing. It's science. It, 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 Agent Knight, could I talk to you for a sec? Zephy's gonna go over to Olaf and be like, this thing is connected to a lot of water that is held somewhere else. Oh, oh, is it like that little thing you do where you grab the freaking item out of nowhere? No, this is stored here normally. I follow Arlo oh. to where he leads me. Okay. All Meanwhile, right. So, Taika and Casimir are heading somewhere too. 
Arlo <laughs> is going to. Arlo's going to. I don't even need to separate the party. You people do it on your own. <laughs> yeah, true. And <laughs> okay, so Ar Arlo's going to say, "All right, first of all, what the fuck was that?" Uh, just kind of gesturing to the the fire and uh, um, Casimir's receding form, just ca kind of walking away. Isn't it a little strange that there happens to be a human who can use magic at the place where a fucking elder god is trying to end the world? Am I the only one saying you this? Have that your son, right? <laughs> is your son there? Yeah, where he's, is your Ar son? Arlo, Arlo has uh, got Jonathan. With Not to mention Jonathan's acting. Jo Jonathan, are you okay, kid? Steffi Just sticks her face into the fire hydrant. <laughs> not, like the, not like the physical. You managed part. to yeet yourself skyward again. <laughs> Olaf is going to look like, oh, that's what this is for. And then stick his head in. If I realize something from my past that is similar to what Jonathan is. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you, um, that would probably be a sh... Uh, Lydic, what would that be? I'm sorry, I was currently distracted by the idiots sticking their head in an open, a gushing fire hydrant. What was that? <sighs> I was going to roll sharp, see if I would remember from my experience back being a normal agent working with supernatural things, if I had an idea of what Jonathan is. I mean, you're pretty sure he's just a psychic child. I mean, they're, they're kind of a dime a dozen, really. It's just that they're kept kind of under wraps for obvious reasons, that being that people aren't supposed to know about the supernatural, even though a lot of them do because this is a terribly kept secret. So I don't have to roll, I can just tell him? Yeah, you just know that he's a psychic child and therefore has quasi-magical abilities. Arlo, I don't know how you're going to be able to take this, but I think your child is one of a special variety. <laughs> Your son just, has mental disorders. Special variety. He just fucking crushed a spider he with his just, mind, and now he's yeah. acting really weird. What is going on? I've never seen something like this. He's I mean, he's kind of recovered child. already. Yeah. I believe he's a psychic child. Yeah, that, that's, that's, what, that's what mom said. Um, I'm just... Well, I tried to avoid using those abilities because they... They I, have negative they, effects. I can't really control them. <laughs> oh. So you I, haven't gotten to your negative effects of it yet? I, mm, Jonathan's kind of clamming up a little bit at this point in time, and <clears throat> he's not willing to disclose any more information. You, okay, you can... I, have, I want to have trust with you because I have experience with this kind of stuff. Okay? <laughs> yeah, my mom's... Like so. Best. My mom said I should worry about people like you because you'd take me away and stick needles into me. I am not that kind of person. That is a scientist. I am not a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have done work for scientists, but I am not scientist. I'm, I'm the one that brings you to the scientist. Come on. <laughs> I might put you in a burlap sack, throw you over my shoulder, then drop you off for the scientist, but... But I don't <laughs> stick the needles in you. Nice. Hush. What is <laughs> uh, a different Arlo's... division? I don't work in that division because I hate how they treat what they call Ar specimens. Arlo kind of kneels down on one knee and his hand. Look, Jonathan, you, you can trust Miss Knight. She is... She knows her stuff. I don't say that about a lot of people. And Jonathan's just like, mm. well, it's... Whenever I've used these abilities that I have, a few things happen. Sometimes I take too much pleasure in it. Other times I don't feel anything at all. And then other times I start directing myself. It's. I try not to use them, but I panic. The gun didn't. The gun didn't do very much, and just. They let us into trouble. I'm sorry. It's probably because you overexert yourself. Because you're not familiar with your powers. So you can probably do small, simple attacks. But anything greater than the simpleton kind of attacks, it affects you. 
right? What is this role for? Just let them finish. Okay. Jonathan's like, pins. Sometimes it, sometimes it just overtakes me when I have nightmares. Other times it's just. Mm. You've never had anyone being able to try and teach you how to take care of Mom, those. Mom was trying trying to teach me, but it was different than her powers, is what she said. So she wasn't all that sure in how to direct me. Mm. Shit. Are you okay, Arlo? I'm coming to terms with this. This is definitely interesting. Uh, we'll figure this out, son, all right? Uh, Most um, the government tries to keep things like this hidden because they're afraid of how people will take it. Well, I can understand some people fearing this. Like, I'm more worried about you, Jonathan. Just don't try to avoid using them as much as you can, all right? You you were a pretty good shot with that gun. I di- I wish you would have told me that you had it in the first place, but <laughs> <sighs> yeah, sorry. Jonathan's just kind of <laughs> looking like uh, kind of a kid who's been chastised for stealing cookies when he wasn't supposed to, <laughs> like <laughs> patting a little, but like not horribly. And he also looks like he just. A little bit disturbed, I guess. Like he's afraid of his powers, but we're not yeah. mad at you. We just want you to have a more faith in us. I'll I'll try. All right. We should probably follow Casimir before he gets himself killed. All right. The All first right, roll so... was a tough roll to see if Zephy can manipulate the fire hydrant physically. The second I mean, one the fire the... hydrant has been knocked out of the ground. That's why all that water is coming We're up. We're just moving the water. I just want to see if Zephy could figure out a way to <laughs> manipulate the water. To, to, you know, she's trying to take out the fire right now. Through pure physical strength? <laughs> I, I'm, yes. just ima- I'm just imagining, like, um, was, it, was it like... Oh, what she's doing is there's a oh. hole in the ground, right? She's putting her hand down so that the pressure it has less room to go out. And she's okay. trying to angle it to go, you know, hit the fire. I mean, you do succeed in doing that, but you also hit Kit, Jonathan, and Arlo. Good, good lord! Ah, ah, my apologies. I am simply trying to keep this from being on fire. Zephy, what the hell are and you doing? Uh, You're getting my gun wet. I am going to skip over this band of idiots to the other two idiots. So, I should have mentioned uh, earlier, the uh, rave's kind of, you know, on hold. I don't know if this is, you know... <laughs> is this Taika and Casimir? <laughs> or are we yes. going to get need? Okay. Uh, as you get... Fuck. Fuck. As, Shit, as you sorry. get to the place where it is, you see that outside the doors, uh, Olaf's fox uh, familiar is just kind of sitting outside the doors, looking in with his head tilted. Oh, cool. A fox. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, pirate's ghost animal thingy. He's a viking, for one. <laughs> but anyways... <laughs> Uh, this isn't going to be, you know, the best example of the rave, since everyone's going to be, you know, dead. But I think you can still get the picture, big guy. Yo. You seem like a guy who likes a bunch of dead bodies. Yo, wait, you, are, is the rave supposed to have dead people? Uh, not I mean, only dead, if an overdose happens. But sometimes some accidents can happen. Yo, Most this, drug accidents, this just got, like... A million times better. Jesus Christ, let's go. Anyways, if that, you know, foxes and then they're eating dead people, I'm pretty sure there's something in there that, you know, might be a bit dangerous. So why don't you get that, you know, sort out, big guy? Just in case. Uh, Casimir's going to pull out his sword like, someone that actually wants me to fight. Oh, you are so much better than those other guys. Whatever you say, she's going to, you know, pat his shoulder and then stand behind him. She's using him as a meat shield. Okay. Casimir's gonna uh, wait. Continue lighting. Oh no, no. Uh, I was gonna say as you're walking in, I was gonna describe what it looks like. Yeah, Casimir's gonna like walk in into the uh, uh, thing. As you get in there, you basically see that the floor is covered in blood, glow sticks, a few discarded pills that you've never seen before because you've never done ecstasy, and 
uh, occasional discarded limb, but mostly just a lot of dead spider beasts. And as you get in there, you suddenly hear the doors slam shut behind you. Taika, you see the reason why this happened, as this seven-foot-tall, looming, you're pretty sure a person of some kind, with reddish skin, has basically just dropped down from the ceiling and in one movement, slammed the door shut and stuck the landing. Taika's going to, because she was behind Kazmir, jump behind him again now as they turn around, so she's not, I mean, you know, the one in front of the Basically, that thing is now behind, that thing is now between you. Kazimir oh. is in the building, you are not. Oh, never mind then. That's even better for me. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Kazimir's well. gonna turn around and be like, is this part of the rave? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's... I think this is the bad guy. You should... Yeah. Basically, as this thing kind of, this thing just kind of takes a few steps towards you, and you notice that in one of its hands, just draped over its shoulder, is a stop sign that has been ripped out of the ground. Would you care to tell me what business you have with my dear brother? What kind of? This, I was expecting something a lot different when she told me the rave. So that you question do hear was some towards... scuttling from inside the building. So that question was towards Taika. What business does she have with her brother? Yep. Oh, okay. Taika's gonna put her hands in her pockets, start taking a couple steps back. Listen, I was just here to point him in the direction of what's causing all the spiders. They are the guys who come here for that, okay? Not me. Hmm. So... Does that mean Kazmir's inside You're trying to tell me that you're just uninvolved in this whole situation. That I see you, some little flesh bag, at this kind of just flips the stop sign in their hand and plants the sign, uh, sign side into the asphalt. Has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. Question real quick. Kazmir is inside alone, right? He, Inside he, alone, but you can hear scuttling noises from deeper in the room. Okay. Um, That's can what I have, you're trying can to Can I have about. Taika roll cool to keep her cool? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, you basically have this seven-foot-tall uh, seven being, which, as you look, you see that each eye has two pupils in it. Just it's not even just she's over scared, you. It's, just, it's just the other part of this, you know? <laughs> the fact that this is a very distressing situation. Also, the fact that she's pretty. Because in the history, I, I don't know if we're going with this, but Taika's, you know, his Bondo was kind of killed by these spiders, right? Yep. Yeah, so she's trying to not show too much information because, you know, she gets really angry sometimes. But I rolled a nine, so. <clears throat> yeah, you're uh, keeping it a bit level, though your voice is a bit shaky. Well, I do live in this town, so I am a bit invested in it, you know. Not being oh. overrun with giant ugly spider things. Looks like I missed one. Allow me to rectify that. Oh, shit. Russian man. Shit. With this, the basically they just the flip land. the stop sign to almost as if they're holding it similar to someone would a club in one hand and go to take a swing at you. Uh, I'm gonna say roll cool for this one. Yo, this freaking rave sucks. There's no music or anything. Seven. <laughs> you managed to duck it, but you still end up like it ends up just like uh like uh like the edge of the sign ends up hitting your back uh, like hitting your back. So that's gonna be one harm right there. Oh, I put all my harm on the wrong person. Whoops. Casimir is gonna go like bend over and like pick up two glow sticks and be like, "What are these used for?" <laughs> I love the fact that I just specifically mentioned there's scuttling noises in that room several times and you have not done anything. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Tyga's gonna yell just... out "fuck" really loudly as it hits her, <laughs> and then she's gonna try to you know roll away. Do we hear right. that? 
does Casimir hear that? Casimir does it because these are some pretty goddamn sturdy walls. I mean, this is these okay. this building is also kind of meant to keep the police from knowing about the rave. Because, you know, ecstasy. But speaking of which <laughs> Oh god <laughs> You know, you don't know what it is, but you're feeling really good right now, but you're a bit thirsty. <laughs> Well, I haven't eaten it yet, but I was going to, okay. maybe. <laughs> I was just going to assume that you already did. Yeah, Casimir bends over and be like, I wonder what this is, and just like pops it in his mouth. How many did you pop in your mouth? Two. Okay, yeah, you're feeling a... Your, your mouth's feeling kind of like... dry. But you're also just having a good time right now in this empty room. Filled with yeah, sticks and blood. Oh, Shimlan. Let me father. The maids of the I... speakers in there have started blaring the co- chorus of Ocean Man. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have Taika try to aim an attack of magic? Uh, sure. All Where right. are you aiming this? Between his legs, and I'm going to try to blow up the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roll, I assume, magic? Yeah. Which, the rest of the party, you did just hear that, like, very loud fuck because Taika is a very angry person. <laughs> right, I think we should probably head over that way. <gasps> oh, I you failed! Did. I failed! Do you yes. know what this means? Do you know what this means? EXP. Experience? I'm gonna use could have been worse. <laughs> Okay, let's see how that goes. Which character I want to use, this is going to suck. Wait, which character is Taika anyway? Taika's a spell slinger. Yeah. Oh. Magic. Okay, uh, dude. Let's see. Okay, so... Instead of losing control, okay, what happens? Which thing are you picking? This Fizzle is going to suck. This is going to suck. Okay, let me go to the magic thing. I know I have to take one harm now because of that. Uh, okay, is that the thing? Okay, so which magic effect are you deciding to not have happen? Which glitch do you decide not to have happen? Not the harm. Oh, say, okay, so you're having it to where the harm doesn't happen? Yeah. One of those is literally just, it has a problematic side effect. Yeah. You kind of just collapse the building behind this tall stranger to where you're now not sure whether or not you could get past that to get to the doors. As well, well as the fact that you now hear scuttling from all around. Well, that could have gone better. Well, it Looks like you've attracted the attention of my children as well. Right when he says, looks like you, Taika turns around and starts running. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, I say. Technique. Got it. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> This rave is awesome. just kind of runs after you while, like, holding the stop sign. All right, let's go to the rest of the party. I love this rave. Wait, since, uh, you know, Zephy took, like, three harm, can I get a heal real quick, Knight? (laughs) (laughs) It sounded more like that weird girl instead of... Please heal me, I have already three harm. (laughs) I'm, I know, I'm just talking to Arlo while healing you. Right. Uh, could, okay. If Arlo took two harm, could you also give him a... <laughs> <No. laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take that two harm off because of that. Now, let Zephy heal Arlo. Let Zephy touch Arlo. Okay. No, do it. Alright, uh... Co- as cock you... block Zephy. As you're all doing this circle heal, mm-hmm. uh... Taika just kind of runs around the corner, running for her life, followed by a, like, dark red-skinned, seven-foot-tall monstrosity, wielding a stop sign, and about seven of those spider things. Olaf is gonna look at him and be like, Oi! Oi, Casimir, what happened to you? <laughs> Casimir's, Casimir's not there! I know. Or do you think that's Casimir? I know I think that's Casimir. Taika is going to run by the party and let them intercept the problem. I don't think that's Casimir. Oh, shit. Also, Zephy, uh, 
a name pops into your head. What'd you say, Agent Knight? That okay. that role was to heal um, Arlo. So, I, I don't know what name's popping into my head unless you're typing it right now. Right. Uh, I was going to tell you. Hereskaret. Uh, uh, Hereskaret. Hereskaret. So that's... So Zephy can confirm that's the finger or whatever? That's one of the fingers. Yep. Motion man. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you people doing as this just terrible situation starts up? Arlo's Zephy's taking going to intercept the, the mail. I yell at Tiger, what did you do? And where is Casimir? <laughs> Tyka hasn't stopped running. <laughs> <laughs> Has Taika gone past the party? Yes. She's trying to. Okay, you have passed the party. The party is now in between that nightmare and you. Thank Who knows Taika when you'll stop? Taika slows down a bit when she looks up her shoulder and see... She's making sure they're not, you know, gonna run past them after her, you know? So she's still running a bit. <laughs> Which I'm guessing that Zephy is, like, going to swing her, uh, swing her hammer at Hereskaret. Yep. All right, as you do this, they swing the stop sign at you. Ooh. Roll tough. Ooh. I don't even want to hit him now. I just want to try to see if I can, like, block his attack. Okay, you got a nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which... I mean, are you trying to block the attack, or are you trying to hit? I'm blocking the attack now with it. Trying to. All right. I'm going to say that you do take one harm from, uh, you do kind of take one harm from this, and as it hits, like, you manage to intercept it with your hammer, although the edge of the stop sign itself cuts into the flesh of your arm. Oh, but I have and, two, ar two armor? Is that armor ignored? Yeah, that was basically, like, regardless of the armor, so it would have been three if it weren't for the armor. All right. Uh, and when this happens... You also just kind of feel the road buckle under your feet. Uh oh. That's all Casimir's gonna say is uh oh. Casimir's gonna look at the creature, be like, "Oh, did Casimir hear the door?" Casimir's not, not here. Not Casimir's in the on. rave room, the doing the thing, ecstasy. Did Casimir hear the like you know rubble block at the door though? No. Nah. He's also Ooh. high, so he <laughs> doesn't really care right now. Uh, Olaf is gonna be like, "How dare you, Angela, great Valkyrie!" and like take his uh, um, big axe and like try to chop at the uh, right. Eric Jules or whatever his name is. As you're trying to close the distance, one of the spider things kind of intercepts and goes after you. I right, then I want to like swing my big axe and like try to like hit him. And, like, tell him, like, out of my way, type of thing. Hit the spider thing? Yeah, like, hit, like, All right, as uh, I'm running we'll towards Hercule, I'm gonna, like, swing at him and, you know, say, haha, ha, yeet. <laughs> <laughs> roll me tough. Yeet. Roll me tough. Like, do a kick some ass roll. Okay, you got eight. an eight. Uh, let's see. Tough off, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. How much damage does your axe do? My axe does... Yes. Two. Two damage? Okay, so it takes one damage, and if memory serves, you said you had a shield, right? I do indeed have a shield. Okay, so you managed to kind of use that to pro partially fend off the things. Tooth-filled maw and end up just having it to where, like, like it ends up, like, uh, like, you feel some of the teeth cut into your arm, but other than that, you're fine. Do I take any damage? Yes, you took one. Okay. The shield um, block the other one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot at the, um, at the, um, thing Ze Zephy's fighting. I'm gonna have you roll me sh the cool to make sure that you don't shoot Zephy. Yeah. Being as it is Zephy, that thing, and you behind Zephy. Yeah. Shoot, I with a been, shotgun. I should have been more specific. Um. All right. Also, where exactly are you aiming with this thing? I'm aiming for the head. Okay. All right. Since they shot the you big guy, Tyke is gonna stop running thing. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a nine. A nine? Mm-hmm. All right. Shotgun does three harm, right? Plus one because devastating. 
So four. All right. So Zephy, you take two. Oof. That's Zephy's including your. Uh, that's girl. factoring in your armor. I am aware since it's four. Yeah. Sorry. And it kind of just takes. Uh, because the whole thing is, with the placement of this, you would have had to get over a 10 for all the damage to hit it. Okay. So it oh. also takes two. Alright. Well, I'm Shit. shooting at its eyeball, so... As this, uh, well, basically, like, while this is going on, those other six spider things have just started going around them towards you guys. Alright, um, before, um, before they intercept us, I'm going to attempt to get into a better position so I can shoot the big purple thing. Or red, red thing. Sorry, red. yeah, red thing, and uh, and to where I won't hit Zephy this time. <laughs> Taika is As going to start it. trying to snipe electric, electric, like trying to snipe them with her electric, not the fire, so she doesn't burn everyone. Uh, as you guys kind of start moving, all of a sudden, like it's uh, the things. Uh, one of its arms just kind of like reaches out and grabs Zephy by the throat, <laughs> and Olaf starts to lift them up. Olaf is gonna run like right next to him and try to like chop his hand off with the big axe. It smacks you with Zephy. <laughs> so did he? <laughs> I mean, so is he using me like a flail? Like he's like like he's still holding. Basically, on just used you as a flail. Yes. Oof. All right. So can I'm not even gonna try to use my shield on that one. <laughs> that one uh, I'd say each of you take. Uh, Okay, with Zephy, that is one damage that you take. Okay. I'm with Olaf, it. that's three. And Ooh. Olaf, roll me tough. Okay. That is my roll right there. That's the XP, and I leveled up. And you're also knocked on your ass. Mm. Don't care, I love it up. Okay, so Agent Knight, you shot it twice, pretty much? Yeah, and I rolled 11 on the second time, so... Like, uh, as you, uh, basically, as, like, the bullets are starting to go, you suddenly see its chest bubble up, and then one of those spider things, like, just crawls out of that and hit, gets hit by the bullets. Taika, from a distance, is going, Ah, oh, gross! <laughs> I'm gonna have her try to snipe some of the spiders, you know, with her le electricity, right. so. You do manage to successfully pull that off. I'm going to need you to do a magic roll to see whether or not you light the surroundings on fire. No, no, no. I'm not doing fire. Only electricity. Okay. So, that so that'd I be don't three harm. It. Or no, that'd be two harm. Two. It's two harm. Uh, right. John Jonathan is going to run back. Taika is away from the monsters, and he's going to attempt to... Uh, he's going to... Um, attempt to use his powers again and knock, um, and knock one of the spiders away as he's running. All right. And basically, he just kind of reflexively launches Zephy <laughs> at, uh, let's see, let's go with Arlo. Zephy, oh, okay. how much health do you have right now? Two. Well, okay, question. you're knocked unconscious. Oh, dang. No. I'm going to use the luck. <laughs> okay, so Jonathan rolled an eight to use his powers. I believe. That's All right, <laughs> Zephy is. So if I use the luck, I assume I'm not knocked out, right? Uh, well, basically, you still smack straight into Arlo, so we're gonna I have was to gonna, roll damage for him regardless. I was gonna and see if he's knocked like, prone. Olaf try to roll, like jump up, up and like catch Zephy. <laughs> He's gonna Who's try to catch Zephy because yeah, Olaf can... just got knocked on the other side. Yeah, yeah. No, like can he like try to jump up and like football, you know, jump to catch him? I don't think you're going to move faster than this. No. Okay. So just gonna put that out there. What if I roll so, a perfect so, score? Does Does Arlo if have to you roll? get higher than a twelve? What do I need to roll without a luck point? Anyway. Uh, Arlo have to roll a tough to uh, to if see how he much... if he manages to get less than a twelve without luck. Yes. Okay. What do I need to roll? You're gonna need to roll double sixes, pretty much. Yeah, no, just no, roll like... two sixes if you get a twelve. So two d six, not cool or anything. Just two d six. Nothing else. All right, let's just go. Just your two d six. Damn. You failed. Damn. This doesn't go towards X exp. And Arlo catches Zephy with his face. Okay, I roll. Roll tough. me tough. That's going to be a 9. 
I'm going to. D Let me see how much damage this does from this collision. You take two damage, Arlo. Ow. And, uh, like, somehow, by some miracle, you haven't fallen over. You should be knocked flat on your ass, but you aren't. You just, Zephy's just in your arms, you know, just, oh. Question. <laughs> uh, Damn it, Zephy, you knocked my shotgun out of my hands. Hey, real quick. <laughs> Can uh, Casimir yes. try to like open, like break down the door to like go, like start walking to everyone and like try to get them to come join in the rave and try this good thing he found? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you do start messing with the doors, but as you do, that scuttling noise from deeper in the room becomes louder, and you realize that it's because more of those spider things are in fact in the room with you. Bet. Casimir's you just turn like, around and you see three of them behind you. Casimir's gonna be like, "Y'all here to party? Hold on, hold on. We need some light." And he's gonna like try to, you know, <laughs> blast the roof on fire and like burn the thing down, like burn <laughs> everything down. They just kind of like tilt their heads at you, confused. Do I shoot like, the not fire? Not sure yes what you're no. doing. Roll me Can a I, magic thing. I. An 11. You have successfully activated the fire alarm. That's it? Dang. I mean, you basically, you lit a fire, fire alarm went off, water is now pouring from the ceiling. Uh, Casimir, like, can that, like, you know, wake Casimir up? <laughs> um, you know, water is like Do now. Give me a sharp on. roll to see if he's anywhere near sober. But at the same time, you're feeling really thirsty from all the ecstasy that you have been eating. <laughs> you just kind of open your mouth as the water is pouring from from the fucking ceiling sprinklers and take a drink that way. That's not water, though. Uh, <laughs> what exactly uh, is it? It's like a, it's like some sort of chemical that's used to. Kill kind of like what's in fire extinguishers. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing that he's not human. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rest of the party is currently dealing with your sibling. Let's see how that's going. <laughs> that was good. That tastes good. Zephy is kind of just like my. Sometimes I really do wish I had a ranged weapon. <laughs> Here, I got an extra one, and hand, hand Zephy a pistol. Takes aim with the. I was trying to heal one of them, but I only got a five. <laughs> Does That's that gonna fun? give people the big hurt. <clears throat> Which one? <laughs> hurt Zephy, do it. Zephy's almost dead, though. Yeah, do, do it. it daddy. Or use a luck, it's up to you. I'll, look, I'll use one of my luck points. To count it as a success, or like a 12. Hmm? You can use your luck point to count it as having rolled a 12. Yeah. Basically, as you guys are doing this, it is sun uh, this thing has suddenly grabbed Olaf by the face and is now running up one of the nearby buildings. Well, I can come, but with the guy instead of a maiden. Yay. <laughs> can uh, Olaf try to outpower this to like make him let go? Who did you, I did mean, you he's currently me? half. It's currently halfway up, like a two, like one of like a like a convenience store. <laughs> Not uh -huh. even, not quite halfway. It's more like near the top, about to step over the edge onto the onto the roof. Did okay. Get... So if you want to, roll me tough. Because I have a plan. Also, did, did we get the heal off or whatever? Yeah, I used a luck. Okay, who took the harm? Heavy. No, uh, you she heavy. used a luck to make it a twelve. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, and who you're got gonna... the heal? Zephy probably needs it more. Just heal two harm and stabilize him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back to three harm. Also, your ankles are no longer very hurt. <laughs> nice. So, hey, I rolled like, an eight. Earlier, it would have been like a two-legged limp. Hey, I rolled an eight, 
But because I want to at least try my hardest to make what I have planned works, <laughs> I'm going to use the luck and make it a 12. What are you trying to do? I was going to try to, like, you know, force it to let go of me and then uh, drop down. Okay, and, like... how are you doing that? Because as a hold of your face. Yeah. So I'm going Pull to. Pull my face away, duh. <laughs> like it's palming your head like a basketball. I'm going to take my axe and chop his hand. Or oh, arm. Or, I was going to say, just, like, grab his fingers and, like, pry them off. Whichever All right, one. Well, some, by some nightmarish miracle, you managed to basically cut the arm off at the elbow. And as it gets to the roof, it kind of just looks down at you, just more kind of, huh. Okay. Uh, which, god damn it, now we're going to need to figure out fall damage for you falling off of a convenience store now. See, the second part of my plan was to get my axe and, like, cut it into the building and, like, <laughs> like have your it at the hand is still firmly up. grasped on your face. You're basically blind. Yes, but I can, I can, I'm sure I can tell where Instinct. the, uh, building <laughs> It's is. also less than a second for you to fall. You have already Can hit the ground in the time it took for you to describe what you did. Can okay, then. The Let me roll my tough to see my, uh, Resistance to this. Yai. I mean, I was just gonna say that you take two damage from falling. Oh, okay. Like that. It kind of just looks like the thing. Kind of just looks down, looks at its elbow. A new arm just appears. Looks back. Just kind of walks off. Ah, shit. Now we got the spiders to deal with. <laughs> Speaking yes. of that, another lightning bolt flies by. <laughs> Hitting Where one of the at? Spiders. Okay, it's at the been... spiders. Okay, yeah. just the straight lightning. Yeah, just straight lightning. Let's All not right. burn everything down yet. Jonathan <laughs> is also Jonathan is also using his psychic powers to attack the spiders as well. All right, uh, which basically because of the fact that two more of those things came out of his chest, uh, came out of its chest that jumped it from seven to nine. Which after a few different thing, uh, after like a little bit of short work, oh. Not a little bit of short work. After a good bit of work, you managed to finally deal with them at range. Mm -hmm. That's going to be an 11, Jonathan. Yeah. So. And now that mobile thing that you guys were dealing with is not here. Yeah. All right. Can any Did anyone get the number on that thing that just hit us? I believe it was Zephy. Or are you not talking about just you? Um. I'm, I'm not, I'm just talking about the thing that attacked okay. us. I'm talking about <clears throat> what it is exactly. I thought it was a hit and run joke with the fact that Zephy got hurled at your face. Hey guys. I mean, it could be if you want it to be. Real quick before we continue, I just want y'all to know one thing. Maybe? I want y'all to know one thing real quick. Currently, Olaf is at six harm. So... <laughs> I might need some help. Basically, I have to save You're basically, up. like... Let Zephy touch have, her little baby boy. You haven't gotten up off the ground since you hit it, although you have pried the hand off your face. Yeah, so like you now are holding a forearm that is about the length of your actual arm. Zephy so what is that? He got How much eight. does that heal me? That heals you for... Let's see... It is, it's either going to heal you for two or it's going to stabilize you. Right now, you pretty much can't yeah, walk. It has to heal him. It's going to have to heal him for two for me. All right. Okay. I'm but since I got an eight, I have to take the harm into myself. Oh, God. So I am yeah. now at, again, two harm left. Hang on. Let me I only had one harm see. left, so I mean. <laughs> that's kind of okay, a net win for heal him. That's... I got a 15. That's that's ro like rolling a 12, so you basically heal two harm and stabilize him. Which but one are you I... doing this to? I was saying let Zephy take back his move and let me heal him. Oh, that way basically Zephy instead, okay. Mm -hmm. So Zephy okay, didn't so give it's... him the big touch? Zephy didn't. Ah, uh, no big touch. <laughs> so Alright, you're now able to walk again. Heal the Like, it no longer the spider's hurts gone or whatever. Olaf I mean, the gonna... spiders that were attacking you guys are dead. Olaf yeah, is going to stand up and be like, Oh, that one hurt like a bee. Yes, these guys are quite stressful. 
Also, uh, at this moment, Fenrir is going to come back to Olaf and, like, start, you know, doing his little fox wine. Mm-hmm. And Taika is going to walk up to the party, too. Jonathan is, go- uh, is going to walk up, and um, and as they're walking up, he, tur- uh, he turns to Taika. I'm Jonathan, by the way. I didn't introduce myself earlier. Sorry about that. Eh, sorry for not paying attention to you, kid. <laughs> you can control magic really well. Yeah, but uh, it's not really a natural thing. I had to learn it, you know? Hmm, okay, so... Oi, Elrond. Fenrir here saying that Casimir is in a... Is little Cassie stuck in a church? (laughs) Did he fall down a well again, the fucking idiot? (laughs) Oh, yeah, no. This is uh, kind of my fault. (laughs) Didn't really see this going. Where's Casimir? He's currently at a rave. A bit preoccupied, probably. Kind of with the fact that the uh, door is blocked currently. So you trapped him in a room? No, no. There was that other guy, totally. <laughs> this is a lie, so Arlo should be able to catch this. Yeah, yes. no. <laughs> Arlo's able to catch that it's not entirely that thing's fault. Yeah, no. Ar- Arlo just um, kind of looks. She's lying. To Agent Knight, Jonathan, come uh, come over here. Don't talk to strangers. But she's not a stranger. She told me her name. Yeah, that's just still a stranger. Get over here. All right, whatever. I'm gonna figure out how to, how to get him out of that fucking rubble. Yeah, See ya. Yeah, she's just gonna walk past the party. Since the last time we saw you, you just flipped us off. Sorry, I don't. But she just did again as she's walking away. Arlo, <laughs> Arlo walks up, grabs her roughly by the shoulder, and turns around. All right, you show us where he. Bad is. touch. <laughs> First of all, let go of me. She says she swats his hand off. Second of all, I was doing that anyways, so follow me or not. I don't care. And then she's going to try sure turning you know around. another entrance for the building. I do not yeah. want to. Question. Get that Can we switch back to Casimir real quick? Because I, I have another idea. <laughs> I mean, you're still currently drinking that fire extinct, like that fire retardant that's just pouring from the ceiling. So no, no, but the spiders are still there, right? Yeah, they're more just kind of confused and disappointed in you. No, I know, but watch this. So, like, after I'm done, after Casimir's done drinking, he's gonna, like, start walking around and picking up more pills. Oh, no. (laughs) Feed them to the spiders. He's kind of following you around, really confused on what you're doing. Yeah, he, he, by now, he's picked up every pill that he's found on the ground. Is he eating them? No. Casimir's gonna look at the spider and be like, Hey, hey, I think that's and like chuck it at one of their mouths. I mean, the mouth's not open, so it kind of just hits it in the face and drops it to the floor. Nah, nah, nah. It's still listen, just disappointed in you. Listen, listen, listen. You gotta do this, okay? Do this. And he's gonna take one and put it in his mouth and start eating. You gotta do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. That's what you, you gotta do. Your mouth is dry again. But you still feel great. Do it. Do it. <laughs> the one in front is just like you. You didn't really think that it was possible for this thing, but it kind of just looks like a disappointed parent. That <laughs> you understand. One of them has started, like, using its claws to try and just, like, sweep away the ecstasy away from you. I still have all the other ones in my hand. I'm talking about the ones that hit the other one in the face. Okay. (laughs) All right, everyone else that's outside the building, uh, I'm guessing that you led them to the other exit that you're pretty sure is there. Yeah, of course. All right. Ta-da! We're fine. See another exit entrance. <laughs> Why is Shall we? Uh, by the way, there's probably out? more of those spider things in here, so mm-hmm. you know. You left him alone with spiders. No, I was separated from him by the big scary guy, and uh, then the exit was trapped. At this point, Casimir has picked up another glow stick and is like waving it around on his right hand, <laughs> trying to dance with the spiders. You know, I don't know why he hasn't left yet. I'm pretty sure he could handle more than, you know, 
whatever was in here. What? I think we should just be happy he hasn't drank any of the glow sticks yet. <laughs> Arlo, Arlo walks through the door, shotgun at the ready. As you open the door, you hear the chorus of Ocean Man blasting on repeat. Oh, God damn it. But slightly oh, no. distorted because some of the speakers are damaged with blunt force and blood. Not again with this. What is it with him and that song? Well, this is a good sign. I mean, he's probably alive then. <laughs> this is, this is from, said. Uh, Jonathan, this is from SpongeBob, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Damn right it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Casimir, are you in here, dude? <laughs> Asimir, are you okay? Oh shit! I know what you happened. You managed to, f you managed to find him amidst some of the blood, <laughs> with glow sticks in hand. He, his lips seem kind of chapped. Like, he's kind of just, like, licking the inside of his mouth a few times. Like, he could hear some clicking as if he's trying to rehydrate the inside of his mouth. Yo, and there's yo, just yo. three of those spider <laughs> things that look really just kind of depressed. Hey, guys, hey, like, Demon you dude, don't even did you just take that... blood ecstasy? Guys, guys, guys. You took I ecstasy. made friends. Oh, I'm in a... Yo, this is so guys. fucking metal. Where did you find this dude? Arlo, guys, shoot, guys. Arlo shoots a spider. <laughs> <gasps> it lets it happen. It has nothing left to live for. No. Uh, Tyka's I gonna just... go over to Casimir and try to take the, you know, take the pills like, from him. Come, my buddy. All right. At this point in time, the this spider is a kinda problem. helps you. You're really <laughs> surprised by this, but it almost feels like it's trying to help no. you. Hey, guys, guys, look, look! I found these. Yo, 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 child, child. No. Psyka's gonna try, like, uh, how many has he taken? Is what she's gonna try to, you know, Child. ask the spider. Um, it kinda clicks its jaws uh, about ten times. Guys. Ooh! Let's guys. hope you really are a demon, cause, uh, guys. I don't know. Guys, hey, God. Oh, God. He the, is. the ceiling has water. He's gonna be uh, That's not water, buddy. The ceiling has water. Alright. I'm just um, gonna take it from you. You mind? She says to the spider, you know, trying to pick him up. <laughs> it just kind of, just like, kind of, just you're not quite sure how. It's like, because the way its legs are, it shouldn't be able to sit, but it kind of just does and just looks at the ground. <laughs> Arlo just kind of looks. You know, I kind of don't want to shoot them now. They look sad and dejected. Damn, well, you I already shot them once, so uh, I mean, we reflex. Arlo. We were dancing together. That's real great, buddy. Did you yeah. Has this ever happened? Did you learn how to waltz? <laughs> this wasn't oh, the place for waltz. <laughs> Take a scoss. <laughs> this whole time, Ocean Man's chorus is still just going on repeat. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I got some headphones and, you this. know, a phone if you want to listen to the actual thing. song real quick. Jonathan's like, yeah, yeah, there's more to that song than really art. Okay. Yeah, just let's get out of here before, you know. Oh my god. Because I shot the rate, the speakers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, there's no. a good number of them around the room. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you. <laughs> I pull out a pistol and we're doing the same thing. <laughs> Are you supposed One to of the spiders kind of perks up and you just see it bodily tackle a speaker. <laughs> Smashing it. God, if he takes a hammer to one of the speakers. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tyka's playing the mom right now, just trying to get Casimir out of here. Is, is this part of the rave? Um. Sure, one of them just kind of shakes its head at you, like, please don't encourage him. <laughs> um, uh, no. This is usually how you shut down the rave and you know it's over. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that's sad. I don't want it over. Don't worry. I'll throw you a rave later. Let's just get oh, out of here. Please don't. Yay. No promises. Oh, God damn it. Also, I have a question. The stick with the light. What is it? It's a glow stick. Liquid light? Just don't don't oh, drink it. Trust me. Liquid light. Does it taste good? 
Actually, no. Horrible. I tried it once when I was in a state like you, and yuck. Lucky. Swallow it. You know, I think we might have to actually make this a two-parter. Yep. (laughs) What time did we start? We started a while ago. 10, 10 30. Uh, you might do something with Ganae oh, real yeah. quick okay. before, or did Ganae fall asleep again? It was closer to 11, I believe. Hold on. I'm I mean, Ganae's currently just doing a church tour of Nebraska with a demon and a vampire. He's got a story to tell. Okay, yeah. Craig joined at about 10.44. We've been here for a while. Uh, 10.44, so that would mean just over two hours, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do our little ending wrap up thing. Mm hmm. It's not the end uh, of the mystery, though, right? Or is it? Well, end of the episode. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, whoop, that's not the thing. Uh, oh, there okay. Goes the name. There, yep. Did he just leave? I think so. Maybe an AFK kicked him out. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. Whoops. Uh, I guess you guys are going to have to tell him how much EXP he gets. Mm hmm. Uh, we did not conclude the current mystery. No. Did we save someone from certain death or worse? Yes, question mark? You saved Casimir from having to deal with an extra-dimensional family intervention. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And you kind of saved the spiders from having to deal with the high-as-fuck Casimir. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. It's a good thing that they're, like, not being directly controlled by, uh... Hresarect, uh, no, he, uh, Hreskarek, Hreskarek. Yeah. Otherwise, they probably would have tried to kill you. Instead, they're just walk, acting on their own autonomy, and they are disappointed. <laughs> technical brother. Actually, more uncle. They're yeah. disappointed in their uncle. <laughs> Did we learn something new and important about the world? Arlo uh, apparently learned that magic users do, in fact, exist. Mm-hmm. Because he didn't seem to realize that that was a thing in a world in which gods exist. No, no, he realized demons. that. Zephy learned it too, apparently. No. And vampires. Okay, and realized, werewolves. He realized that magic users existed, but like less. It was more of like combat magic oriented stuff. He was more used to like just oh. more like uh, basic stuff, I guess. I don't know. Olaf uh, learned what a fire hydrant was. We learned what yeah. Jonathan was. And Casimir oh, learned what ecstasy was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. We I'm learned to regret mentioning that. <laughs> we Did learned... we learn something new and important about one of, the, one of the hunters? We learned about Jonathan's dark side. We learned that uh, Taika's a dick. We, we already knew that... that Casimir was a disappointment to his family. Yeah. <laughs> I love so how that's my, not new. I love how my sibling didn't even try to talk to Casimir. He did like, shut you stand in there. <laughs> he was like, ah, the last time, the, the last time someone tried like something like this, it didn't work. Fuck it. He was I'll more interested later. in the random ass human who was with him. Yeah, he'd like, I'll get him later. Like if you notice, like the spider things left by them didn't go to attack Casimir at all. Hell, even the first ones didn't really attack Casimir. Yeah. Hmm. They don't want to attack. They don't want to attack Uncle. But yeah, so everyone gets two exp. Okay, cool. You know so what that make sure means. Sure, let uh, Anthony know that he Guess gets what two that exp. Means. Guess what that means? Level up. Leveled up. Casimir leveled up. Oh, also, did Arlo. <laughs> I didn't did... get any levels up this time. Actually, I did all good boy rolls. <laughs> Even that time that you got. Fucking yeeted into uh, into uh, Arlo. Mm-hmm. I, get, I didn't get to roll to avoid that. That's the thing. That is true. I mean, it was the whole thing of you two were just kind of locked up against each other, and he just goes, "Whoop." Yep. Question. Hmm. Just what? because I'm wondering. So one of the things that uh I can do when I level up is get a position in a sect. Now I can either create my sect. Or I join a sect that already exists in the game. I mean, I can tell you right now that it would be 12, uh, like, God of the 12 hand, uh, I mean, Cult of the 12 handed God Cultists. Or, which I have a, I have a would be trying argument. to. Co- what? I have a counter offer. That be. Taika makes a rave cult for Casimir. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, Cash Ruby becomes, like, the big boss of a fucking local rave group. <laughs> or, like, you know, a local rave bar or something. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, I could be, like, Lucifer. So less of an actual sect and more you just took him to a rave and he really hit it off with the people there. Yeah, and, and became, everyone loves him. <laughs> and I became the boss right. of the rave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that's not going to get implemented until you get out of this now completely dead town, except for, you know, well, if he chooses that were there. to do that one, you know? I like that one. That's I if he do. chooses to go with that one. I'm going to go with that one. So now, does that mean that Casper and Taika are rave buddies? <laughs> <friends. laughs> now question though. It Congratulations. Says you, it says you gain the initiate move for when you're in good standing with your sect. What does that mean? It just yeah, means you, get... you can get drugs. And Here's the thing. You're considered a pretty you much You now a have an ecstasy dealer. Uh, yeah, but you're also considered a monstrous, right? Like people are naturally akin to not liking you or whatever. Well, he's a summoned. I think that's a summoned thing. Like, he can't charm certain people. Uh, hold yeah, on, let he me... can't charm the majority of people, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of like that whole joke. They just think he's a furry. Okay, yeah, so... but the reverse is true. Like, these people have, like, mad respect for Casimir. That could be a thing that happens in good standing, you know? Yeah, I mean, they just think that he's in costume. Yeah. <laughs> they basically just think that he's some weird cosplayer who goes to these raves and gets high as fuck. And everyone really likes it, though. <laughs> Congratulations, you're saving the world by getting the person who would destroy it high. <laughs> I like how Taika and Casper just kind of hit it off and fucked off from the party. <laughs> Congratulations, well, hey. you made a friend, and you're going to make several more when you make it back to Nebraska. <laughs> and guess what? Whenever I am, like, let's say I'm busy or something, I can't make one of the sessions, we now know where I'm at. <laughs> Instead of sitting in front of a wall doing nothing, he's at the rave. <laughs> oh god, he's going to finally get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Way Bro, too many Umbrella Academy references. I'm telling you, anyway. mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like freaking Lucifer. From the uh, TV No, you're show. more like Luther. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, uh, let's, let's call it there. Just, right. dear god. That was fun in in mm -hmm. an interesting way. <laughs> uh. Well, like also during combat, everyone was talking over each other, so it's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs>